Gents and teddy bears, how we doing? Hope we're all good. Just a few minutes late, just uh, couldn't get hold of the uh, base just to let them know what we were here and stuff. We always let them know. Just been trying to call them a few times, left a voice message, but I thought I'll wait, see if I can get, get a bit of contact there now. How we doing? How we feeling, ladies, gents and teddy bears? Hope you all enjoyed the last two streams. Uh, we started off things at uh, RAF Lake and Eve with a four hour Ted Coningsby community chat. Oh, yes. Wasn't that just awesome? It was four hours with the Ted Coningsby crew, all of us together. And uh, hope we're all good. Hope we're feeling fresh. How are we all doing? Hope we're well. Bit cold, but it's all good. It's fine, it's gonna get colder now, isn't it? This time of year, so uh, hope we're all good. So yeah, Ted Coningsby channel, live here. Uh, just picked up Ted, bless him. He I mean, he's got a life, hasn't he? Living at 29 here, amazing. So, uh, all good. Here he is, fresh and early. He's had a lot of salmon today, so he's, uh, his little teddy bear belly is full. So, my name's Nikos, and uh, I'm your commentator and presenter of the show. And it's an absolute pleasure to bring you Ted Coningsby's home, Ted HQ. This is our very own squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. He does live here and uh, at 29, and it's an absolute honor to have you, Ted. Yeah, you've been all right. Yeah, you've had loads of flights this year, haven't you? He's had a lot of flights. Check out his flight log book, loads and loads. We are on for a busy sort of evening. Um, should be finishing between 2100 and 2200 hours. In old money, that's 9 p.m., 10 p.m. local. Don't forget, Lady Shen's Teddy Bears, I believe. Is it this Sunday? The clocks go back. So yeah, don't be caught out, uh, which means in a way more TCS and some sleep. <laughs> oh wow, so I hope you enjoyed the last two days. Like I said, RAF Lake and Eve we started off and uh, it was a four hour Ted Coningsby treat, wasn't it? We all got involved, we all had a good time and there was no, there was no, there was no flying for four hours. 700 likes or 700 viewers at the time. It just shows what an awesome community this is. It's absolutely magnificent really is uh probably not going to get any movements here for a while probably but i thought i'll start the show an hour before the airfield is open so i can get to you know any slag or snags let us know that kind of thing um yeah it's uh it's certainly a dry day again so we're lucky we're all good and i hope you're all good keeping it sweet and neat big shout out to the spanner flight now they look after the chats and uh, if you've got any questions uh, feel free to ask them or us or anyone on the community um regarding that of course if you're on discord you can always ask the uh, the spanner flight crew any particular questions that you'd like to ask offline that's what i meant first of all but if you've got any uh, aircraft related questions um anything regarding the base uh plane spotting if you've got any, anything you'd like to know regarding that, then let us know. Plane Spotting Aviation Community is a, is a big community. And uh, there's, um, RAF Coningsby is certainly uh, one of those bases uh, where, uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Bless them. Uh, RAF Coningsby, one of those lucky bases where there's a lot to, um, uh, lots of aircraft viewing areas. There is an official viewing area as well, the Spotters Car Park at the uh, eastern end of the, um, oh, sorry, the western end of the base, sort of 07 end, sorry, my bad. And uh, yeah, so it's a base along the Bo uh, Boston Road. There's certain crash gates. Again, play it safe, keep the crash gate clear when you're aircraft viewing please thank you very much lots of good things here going on here but um of course for us as far as broadcasting is concerned we do contact the base i know we're a familiar face here we are ted's pretty much the face of raf coningsby isn't he come on let's face it it's ted's home 
and uh, even though we are very known here very well known we do get invited to go on the base ted flies it's still a polite practice just to let them know even lake and eve bryce norton places like that we do let the base know um that, that we're here because at the end of the day let's face it things uh, things that go on um, but it's also an extra set of eyes for them as well um if we see anything um you know and it, and it, mm, startups just want to tell you as well it is a high awareness base like a lot of the RAF bases and it, th that doesn't mean like oh we're, we're watching you no it's the other way around what it means is that if you spot anything that you think that's not quite right please phone the base there are numbers there's the Royal Air Force Police you can contact them as well if it's absolutely an emergency and a Dubai means call triple nine okay um, but um, what I mean by the high awareness let's help our um, ladies and gents in the Royal Air Force if you spot anything that's suspicious contact the base they will be absolutely delighted to take your call um, again so for me I feel like their own little personal CCTV as well we are mindful of what we show as well it's very very um, it's good practice as well not to show too much detail um, this is why we we kind of we don't we don't show a lot of the inside the hangars or anything like that we're here for the planes man do you know what i mean we're here for the aircraft we're here for the flying um and um sadly we can't uh, we can't be here for the ground crew do you know what i mean we'd love to be able to go on the asp um and just watch what the ground crew do we'd love that it could be something we're going to work on next year it could be something we're working on next year to um chat to the base regarding maybe not live but do some videos and get involved with certain roles of the Royal Air Force like I said we are we do influence or shall we say um, yeah we do influence we do encourage and we do influence the young to join and to become either pilots or, or any particular role in the Royal Air Force if you're even the chef like we've always said the chef is important because if the chef is late then no one's gonna get their breakfast or dinner or lunch and it has a knock-on effect with the pilots <laughs> exactly you've got to think about the domino effect you know even down to washing the typhoons or aircraft because you know what may joke about it debris grit dirt on a typhoon or any aircraft is dangerous it must be cleaned it must be taken off build up of debris build up of dirt on on the um on the rails the um the, the, the oh, i forgot the pin ports Oh, pinpoints hard points sorry i forgot uh don't forget i've learned all this in two years so i'm trying to remember it all but you know the build-up of that could have a knock-on effect with releasing ordnance or anything or connecting certain or making things dangerous when you're connecting fuel tanks it needs to be cleaned so every role in the royal air force is important and that's what we always highlight they just love that sound how we do my hair's doing a bit of a the wind's blowing this way as you can see so they're using runway 25 you can use my hair right to let you know which runway is in use so that means runway 25 if it was the other way it's runway 07 <laughs> oh yeah love you all man love you all big love to you because 32k and pushing absolutely phenomenal i love what i do and and it's an honor to be able to be excited enthusiastic as i am like i am every day claire might say something about that but <laughs> <laughs> to be able to give you this amazing fun community bring it to you wherever you are because there are a lot of people that can't make it there are a lot of people that can make it that are able but they're just working or um they, they it's too far for them and then of course there are people that are not very well or people that are disabled there are people that uh, can't get here for health reasons we're here for you we'll bring it to you and we we project we deliver our streams like as though you are with us if that makes sense we want to make it a little bit of fun as well yes we love the aircraft we love the way they fly but but monday really proved how awesome this channel is it really did four hours of no flying nope and we all had an absolute ball it was amazing absolute amazing didn't we and yeah it was great to highlight on the year for me really really good and um all the adventures that ted's had bless him oh good lad right so startups i am going to go on comms so i can then give you all the info that you need so it sounds like that noise is coming from the main asp 
which is good. We love noise. So we've got 41 squadron rolling out very shortly. So uh, Rebel call sign 41 Squadron rolling out. Oh yeah. Seek and destroy. Sammy B, how you doing? Captain A, how we doing? So they have five Typhoon squadrons here, two are combat ready frontline squadrons. We'll start to the left. We have uh, three fighter and 11 fighter squadrons. And on this side, we see taxiing out, uh, not right now, but we have on this side of the base, we have 29 squadron, which is the operational conversion unit. We have 12 squadron, the Qatari Emir squadron. Seek and destroy, which is a test and evaluation squadron. They're uh, their warfare headquarters are actually in uh, at RAF Waddington. Here we go, Rebel!
Usually Rebel like to uh, blast out a performance takeoff. Let's see if we're going to get one. We've also got Apollo as well taxiing out again. Call sign of 41 Squadron. It's 41 Squadron time. Seek and destroy. Let's have a look what else we got. Right, okay, one more. So there's an Apollo flight coming out as well. up and wait Rebel we'll be going first departure of the show
41 squadron markings as well, both aircraft. Beautiful. Always nice to get the markings. We'll have a bit of decor. services there's smoke in the cockpit ladies gentle teddy bears um, I'm not sure what's gonna happen here it's turning straight back There is smoke in the cockpit, ladies, gentle teddy bears. Pilots just uh, straight to downwind from that takeoff into the land. So the pilot wasn't too concerned, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears, because otherwise we would have had to do our own um, safety procedure as well. 
Um, like I said, that's why I kept that rolling. It was okay. Um, the pilot did communicate with tower. So it's just a procedure, a bit of smoke in the cockpit. Straight back down. Well, all is safe, thankfully, with the aircraft. Marco, thank you very much. Thank you very much for that super chat. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you very much for that. Guards March coming up for you. And uh, just to say, everything is fine. Uh, the as soon as the um, as soon as Apollo took off, um, he contacted the tower straight away and said there's uh, some smoke in the cockpit um, and um, tower did respond to ask if the pilot required any assistance he said negative it's fine so that is why we didn't pull the plug out it seemed to be okay we had to trust the pilot there uh, because Lady Shen Steady Bears we will we, we, we would actually potentially end the stream should it sounded more serious than that uh, yes smoke in the cockpit is very very serious however with the communications that i heard it seemed to be okay so a dramatic start to our stream ladies gents and teddy bears wow Uh, living the dream. Nikos, your enthusiasm. Thank you. So <laughs> your enthusiasm is so infectious to everyone and you, Ted and Claire, bring so much joy to so many people. Simply awesome, awesome work. Oh, yeah. All is safe with our pilot there. We might have, I'm not sure if there's another issue as well with the Rebel flight. And it's all going off here. Margo, Guards March for you. Thank you so much. Absolutely lovely support from all of you. Margo, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Margo. Bear hug. Living the dream. Guards March. Oh, no. Well, thanks, Mark. <laughs> we got to go. And oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. It's gone over. Right. Be right back. If it ain't red Ted, it's uh, <laughs> it's Ted's beret. Let's go and retrieve it. They've already re they've retrieved the shoe. I've got to go and retrieve a beret. Hang on. <laughs> Right, we're back. That was, uh, right, I just have to retrieve Ted's pair of a little wipe there now. <laughs> Thank you for the two amazing super chats that I've had already. Thank you so much for your support. 
that's absolutely amazing thank you much love to you both that's Margot and live in the dream much respect to you both thank you so much More dramatic start to that, ladies, gentlemen, teddy bears. I hope you're all good as well. Yes, all is safe with the pilot, all is well. So, how are we all doing? Hope you're all good. Who we got on? White Wizard, Marco, Davey, hope you're well, man. Much respect to your hero father who served in the armed forces, British Army 25. Thank you so much for that, Davey, for letting us know. And I hope you're well. Respect to your father who's probably watching down and loving the aircraft as he was a big fan. So respect to Father Davy. That's Davy's father who uh, served in the British Army. And it's the uh, 25th anniversary, I believe. And he was, uh, although in the Brit British Army, had a much love for the Phantom and aircraft. And I'm sure he's watching down right now, Davy, feeling proud. So we've got Rebecca, how's it going? Meth. For Ted Spareberry, <laughs> I'll get you a guards march for that one as well. Thank you very much. And our regulars, Mr. Chicken Three Zero, uh, Mr. Chicken Three O One O. How you doing? Ian Wright, how's it going? Jamie, Johnny B, Christopher Carr, how's it going? Frank Wojcinski, how you doing? I learned another one from Germany. Nice one. Andrew Porter, uh, Synchro Tone, so Aaron Oxford. Oh yeah. TK Photographer, another viewer from Germany. Much love to Germany. Thank you very much. John Minter, how's it going? ADSB, how's it going? Kylo Bear, how you doing? Uh, all the bears are going to keep warm. Thank you very much. Silver Trig, how's it going? Members, nice one. Beachcomber bloke. Oh, yeah. Nick Ward. RTB, yeah, absolutely. Safety first. It's, uh, bless them. It's, I mean, I mean, how cool is that? Quick to react, get the, get the aircraft down on the ground and all is good. Lovely, much respect to the pilot there. Like I said, we do have a, an emergency procedure. We are proud to say that we do have this in place. Um, with the confidence that we had with the pilot, we didn't need to do so. So hope you're all good. It was, uh, Uh, the smoke that you would have seen coming out of the engines, um, unrelated, you will see that a lot on takeoff and uh, and as the uh, speed and acceleration changes throughout the aircraft, I, I will say that was unrelated. It was inside the cockpit, uh, probably an electrical issue, perhaps. We won't know until it, that gets issued, which doesn't really get issued to the public. However, I'm sure Ted will uh, Ted will find out for us. <laughs> we'll see. But like I said, just a reassurance, the pilot didn't didn't need any further assistance, which is what Tower asked. Meth, thank you very much for Ted's spare beret fund. We are here home at Ted HQ. This is a quick reaction alert base, ladies, shins and teddy bears. This is one of two bases where they will scramble typhoons. It's uh, usually lossy mouth that does a lot of that in the airspace because of their logistics, their geographic location. But Coningsby also is a QRA of the South and Lossy Mouth QRA station. That's Quick Reaction Alert Station, Lady Shenton Teddy Bears, which means that this is a 24 hour base. Men and women of the Royal Air Force here, 24 hours a day. There are pilots ready, there are typhoons ready, there are ground crew on standby 24 7. 365 days a year regardless what year it's uh, sorry regardless of what of what the day is whether it's Christmas it really doesn't matter 
they will be working hard to defend and protect keeping the UK airspace safe and secure so shout out to all in QRA so ladies and gentlemen it's really important to know this this is a quick reaction alert station anything any pilots doing anything silly in the skies or and it and it's uh, it's not so much it doesn't have to be military by the way it doesn't have to be a military interest it could be a civilian like a there could be there could be as innocent it could be innocent as well which will trigger a, a quick reaction alert there could be a um, I'm not going to mention a, an airliner but it could be a particular domestic airliner that's a civilian airliner that's uh, lost comms if they can't communicate it and they try and try they're not going to take that risk they're going to scramble an aircraft so that is how it works uh, if there's a threat but you know anything like that anything serious like a hijack or anything like that this is where they'll scramble you know that there, there's um there's 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 many qra's uh stations in the world um different names like norad in the us and each one has its own but respect to every country that has its uh, you know respect to the qra of the royal air force thank you very much and uh we can't forget the others that take part in it. Swanick, RAF Bulmer, High Wickham, and of course, not forgetting RAF Bryce Norton, who will send out a Voyager as well. So, nice one. Look at this guy. Anyway. Look at him. So, the other Apollo flight is coming out. This is interesting. It was supposed to be a flight of two. Uh, the other Apollo, who was playing catch up, is just coming out now. So we, I don't know whether the uh, the, the pilot's going to get a spare. We'll find out. LEJ Approach, how you doing? Watching from Germany as well, in fact, moderating from Germany. Thanks a lot, LEJ. Leipzig, how you doing? Hope you're all good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wicked. Absolutely blinder. I will. I'd love to come and visit Germany. I've never been. Ted in Germany. And do you know what? Ted's already got his Berlin jumper, man. <laughs> Shoot recovery team, oi oi! Oh, I've got to get this. There it is. That can be used several times. Shout out to everyone who's tuned in. So like I said, it's, it was supposed to be a flight of two. This typhoon was supposed to be joining Apollo 1-2. This is Apollo 1-1. So either it's going to do a uh, solo sortie or Apollo 1-2 will be issued a spare jet. Shoot recovery team. Squadron coming out as well.
Again, 41 Squadron. This is Apollo flight. It was supposed to be a flight of two. This was playing catch up. I uh, can confirm that three fighter squadron are coming out. Chaos flight. So again, just to confirm, this is 41 Squadron, Seek and Destroy, Apollo. And uh, further on the other side, we have just about C. Yep, free fighter and clear for takeoff, Apollo. Typhoon's coming out, not just these two, there's more, there's Nightmare Flight as well. In the words of Mark Long, squadron leader Mark Long, no point commentating over Typhoon noise. <laughs> I'll never forget that, it's true. So, Free Fighter Squadron, oh yeah, here we go, here we go. First squadron to fly heavier than their aircraft, their motto, third, shall be the first. Not only that, they're sort of animal of choice, not that they have to have one, but it's a, their, uh, their squadron crest contains a mythological creature, and you know I love mythology. And it's a cockatree. Apparently, in mythology, it was the first creature to ever fly in mythology. So, with that in mind, they have a cockatrice. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but hey. That's the thing with myth mythology. See, I studied mythology because I was... It's not because I'm smart. It's because it's a smart subject. Because you can just make up something and they can't say it's right or wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? So Chaos, call sign of three fighter squadron. And we've also got Nightmare as well coming out again. 
free fighter squadron as well. So they are using runway 25 for those uh, are interested. This, how rare this is. I haven't seen this for years. A free fighter squadron marking. No way, this is rare, man. For me, it is. I don't think we've ever had this on the show. A free fighter squadron markings, man. Oh, yeah. Well, gonna have to leave that one for a minute. And take off. Right, send it, come on.
love in that. <laughs> oh my god. Now, did you notice the quick climb style on the first two? Uh, so the first two was chaos flight and the last two was nightmare. Um, I know a lot of people might think, what's the big idea, you know, with um, when I mentioned this, but ladies, gents, and teddy bears, uh, just to let you know that the first, the one with the uh, free fighter squadron markings okay so the one with the free fighter squadron markings was actually a female pilot now you might be thinking what's the big deal with it but the thing is when you think about it it was only in 1991 that uh, flight lieutenant julianne gibson was the first full-time female pilot for the royal air force uh, when she graduated in 1991 so it is a big thing because it's not that long ago only three decades ago ladies gents and teddy bears how awesome is that 1991 that is not long ago at all in any any right way at all so fair play so that so it was the third one or, or the or the one with the free fighter markings unbelievable oh yes Yeah, exactly. It, it, we're not genderifying anything here. We're just stating the fact that it's very historical to have that because you know now it's you know now it's a, it men and women both serve the same role. They both serve any role. They could be a fighter pilot now, and it's amazing. And like I said, 1991. That's really not long ago. You know, um, for those wondering, yes, okay, in World War II um, when the female pilots were flying like the Spitfires and the Hurricanes for delivery they weren't actually part of the Royal Air Force it wasn't allowed then those are those times we are in the present so here we go and it's uh, it's fantastic to, to have that it's and it encourages females to become fighter pilots as well it's always for me when I was a kid and maybe because I was a boy or you know I'm just saying the fact that uh, you know I always saw fighter pilots as a, as a male role but it's nice that it's mixed you can just go for it women go for it become a fighter pilot serve our country thank you very much and even teddy bears the bear that wanted to fly the inspiration behind that it's it's a key thing don't be afraid just because you know and it is such an encouragement for those wondering that yes you know, it's it's for everyone. This is a family, this is one unit, and it's so special to have that. Thanks a lot, Ian. All this on the stream. So what a start today. So we've had an emergency landing and four performance takeoffs, two of them. So the first two were in the style of quick climbs, weren't they? Even though they didn't need, they, see Typhoons don't really need to do that because of their power to weight ratio, because the, the EJ, the Rolls-Royce EJ200 engines, okay, uh, they produce 20,000 pounds of thrust each. So that's 40,000 pounds. The Typhoon, even with a good payload, doesn't even weigh that much so it weighs less than 40,000 so because it's it produces 40,000 pounds of thrust and it weighs less than 40,000 pounds this means that it can accelerate vertically which is what they call a, a better thrust to weight ratio than a ratio of 1 1 okay so um, it's able to do that if obviously the aircraft was weighs 50,000 uh, 50, pounds and it had 40,000 pounds of thrust well then it means that it it won't be able to do that so that's why you sometimes get aircraft specifically that can do quick climbs so they get the speed already and then when they pull up they've already got that speed which is why they can do it it's all to do with the power to weight ratio every aircraft is different every aircraft has its operational requirements and um and the typhoon beautifully can do that <laughs> oh, 
It's uh, about 82% carbon composite, which is a posh word for plastic, giving it stealth attribute as well. So it's not quite, it's not a four, fourth generation jet, it's not a fifth, it's a 4.5. So because of the plastic, shall we say, or the carbon composite, even the canopy is acrylic as well, special acrylic for the uh, canopy. Uh, not glass. I don't think they use glass. Do they use glass? I can't see them using glass. That'd be absolutely dangerous, wouldn't it, if they use actual glass? Because acrylic's stronger, right? That's why they uh, a lot of frames are are, are sold as uh, acrylic rather than you know like picture frames. Uh, but anyway, um, the what else? There's a there's a few more stealth attributes that the Typhoon has. Uh, a lot of aircraft have uh, what's called an S duct intakes. So if you were to look in the two intakes of the Typhoon. Um, there are many aircraft that have this as well, but it actually creates a stealth attribute. If you were to look through into the uh, Typhoon intakes, not recommended that you do, but if you if you get a chance on one of those statics at air shows, um, if you can see the engines when you look in the compression blades, then it's a not it's not an S duct. So Typhoon, you won't be able to see the compression blades. So you think hmm, why not? Because it's shaped like an S, so that the compression blades are hidden and when those are functioning they create heat and that is what gets picked up on radar so the typhoon uh, won't get picked up on radar from its uh, engines from the uh, compression blade heat uh, and there's, uh, there's a few more as well I'm gonna have to dig out the manual and have a little look and uh, check it out it's quite cool it's really really good mm -hmm. so hiya Hi. afternoon Don't forget to hit the like, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. Let's get on with that. Let's uh, hit the like and uh, do share. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget you can subscribe to the Ted Coningsby channel. All these free things that we said are, th are absolutely free of charge to do. Hitting the like, I know a lot of uh, I know a lot of YouTubers, you know, hit the like, it's always on there. Why? There is a reason for YouTubers to say hit the like. There is a reason for that. It's not just the fact that, oh, we got loads of likes. It's not that. It's the fact that YouTube will recommend the stream. So, for example, if we get like a thousand likes, YouTube will go, and, and obviously if the chat's happening and there's loads of comments and everyone's buzzing, YouTube will recommend the stream. Now, if they recommend the stream, that means more exposure. More exposure will then lead to more views and hopefully those viewers will then become subscribers, helping the channel grow. That is the whole point. great start very 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 great start um, we had that little scare uh, again lady shunts teddy bears for parents that are concerned as well and obviously for, for our, our um, adult viewers as well should there be a situation we do have an emergency protocol that we play as well that we act on as well because at the end of the day if an aircraft's got an emergency I do have to think about my safety as well um, depending on the type of emergency it is okay so um, we do have that in place if you are concerned footage shall be recorded where possible for the MOD but as far as the stream goes it will be terminated uh, our moderators span of flight are in constant view and we'll be able to uh, give you the messages that you need to should the stream just disappear like that because at the end of the day no one wants to see anything like that Ted Coningsby just looking out for everyone making sure everything's all good and safe it is a fa uh, family channel and uh, speaking of family uh, channel as well we don't do politics on here no religion please or anything like that I know there's stuff going on in the world but you don't take that when you go plane spotting so please don't bring it here uh, if you need to hide letters from certain words then don't use them at all we do have youngsters especially now that it's school holidays there will be youngsters either here or they'll be viewing it um, so please be respectful of your words choose them carefully well that have fun <laughs> The sky is looking a little bit emotional, correct? I, I'm hoping, I do you know what? I ain't even prepared for rain. If it starts raining, I'm a little bit, I'm gonna need to squawk a 7700. <laughs> um, 
Okay. Yeah, 375 GTB, don't forget, they weren't actually part of the US Air Force. Uh, they weren't fighter pilots. Um, again, same with here, we had the W, the WAFs, the uh, Women's Auxiliary Air Force. They weren't actually part of the Royal Air Force. And uh, Jeannie Leavitt, uh, I think 1992, she became, uh, they were celebrating 30 years of uh, females in the fight, combat roles, the so fighter pilot roles as well. So remember that, although they may have been flying uh, particular jets for infantry and delivery purposes, they weren't actually part of the United States Air Force itself. Um, I know I've had this before, but uh, just, to, just to clarify that. Hope you're all good. No rain around the radar, just a bit of cloud. I oh, know it just feels a bit damp, but, um, but hey, adds to the atmosphere, right? It's a shame about the clouds, they kind of like short-lived the uh, PTOs, but they were good. Tell you what, orange and grey go so well. Afterburners in the grey, it does look impressive. It brightens it up. Martin Skeet, Ted Connigsby channel. Always, always, always setting the standards. We may be copied, copied but never bettered, man. That's the way we do it on the TCS show. We are the number one military aviation live streamer. And we like to keep it that way. So we need your support to do that. We try and put things in place. We try and bring new things to the show. We try and, um, you know, we do our best to make it fun as well. Don't forget, because at the end of the day, this is a fun hobby. And uh, we will try to mix it up. So Monday, we started off at Lake Eve. Yesterday, we had the heavyweights who kept us occupied all day, pretty much for hours. Any PTO is a good PTO, in it? Absolutely. White Wizard, how you doing? Hope you're well. And um, without mentioning anything, hope all is well, if you know what I mean, White Wizard. Hope all is good with you, man. Um, thank you. Uh, just drop us a line, buddy. Lovely to hear from you when you do uh, get a chance. Thank you. Um, I love our absolute regulars on the show. I do absolutely. So proud of you all. Nick Ward making a TED 35. TK photographer watching from Germany. We've got viewers in the US. We've got Davey, the legend. Uh, Aaron Oxford, who's a big fan of 11 Fighter Squadron. We've got Ian Wright, uh, Chris Bloxham, fellow Reggie. I mean, you've all got your, I've never, you know, a lot of you I've never met and I just feel like I've known you. It's so cool. We've got Margot Baxter, the legend that she is. <laughs> so she is a, she, I think Margot's got a golden spanner, bless her, with the absolute huge support, big fan of the show like you all are and thank you so much uh, for what you do marco from edinburgh who is the writer author of the bear that wanted to fly poem book thank you so much it's a charity book that we've got for the royal air force benevolent fund uh, we just ordered uh, more copies so if you have ordered and haven't received it yet they are on the way Uh, Martin Ski, it's uh, three weeks because they're made to order. They are embroidered just for you. There was um, a dispatch yesterday of them as well, so there'll be more over uh, Monday as well. David Wolf Manuels, thank you very much. The golden standard, isn't it? <laughs> Bless. But, you, you know, I, I, all the support that you all give, every one of you, whether it's a pound or a hundred pounds, thank you so much, you know? Even just all the way down to the free bits, when you hit that like and you share, it's an absolute maximum boost for the channel. So thank you very much for that. It's, you know, when... And, yeah, it does make me so proud of you when you join up. Rip curl. Yeah. Last time. I think I did. Amazing. Oh yeah, Ted Connigsby channel with a very, very, very 
like I said, th there is a free week wait on these, okay? Because they're made to order and it gives me a chance because obviously I'm here, I can't send your orders out. So that is, it just gives me time. It was a silence, <laughs> but it wasn't silent. It was, you know, you all chipped in and, and, um, ah, oh, just amazing. Thank you. It's so cool. I'm absolutely proud of all of you. Ba -da 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 -da. We got so many ideas as well. So many ideas for, um, that we're trying to, trying to do. Um, you know, and I've got all these little side projects as well. You got people like, you know, you got um, viewers uh, as well that take their time, such as Nick Ward making Ted's little aircraft, building them and painting them. It's just amazing. Uh oh. One sec. Guess it doesn't like me on the show. Let me just move that up a bit. If it's uh... yeah, the signal hasn't been brilliant today here. So I even uh, I even I was even thinking about perhaps uh, just restart, rebooting the signal as well to a 720. But I'll see what I can do. The signal's just dropped here the last two times I've been here. So yeah, we are. Um, so they're gonna fly until about uh, nine o'clock tonight, local. So I'm hoping to get you some uh, some night action as well. I mean, we've had some lovely, lovely shots today already. So it is good.
Right, I've got some guards marches to do as well. Lovely. Right. Right. I think it'll be all right, Ted. But yeah, thank you, I've just had a look and I've just had a lot of guards marches just come through just now, so apologies. Uh, but they're always backlogged and we don't forget you. Um, we've got Davey, tears of proudness. Thank you everyone from the bottom of my heart for all the love and support. Dad would have loved this community. Davey and to your father, thank you very much. Guards march. This one's for Davey. And I tell you what, this one's for this one's for your uh, father there, Davy. All right, he's watching up above. Beach coma bloke. A little something for Ted's Tiffin. Thank you very much, Guards March. Thank you very much. Uh, Simon Watchorn, thanks Ted and Nikos for the best stream. Thank you so much, Guards March, for you as well. Thank you very much. Uh, John Minter, so proud of our Royal Air Force. Thank you very much, John. Nicely said. Guards march for you. And we've got uh, Theron Triple Six. Welcome to the Posh Officers Club. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Guards march for you. It's all coming in here. Johnny uh, Disblair. Johnny Disblair. Thank you very much for the super sticker. That's so kind of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. Thanks everyone for that. That's magic support already. And um, from what uh, from what has been a very action-packed stream already. And do you know what? We've got a long way to go yet. And I've got me, uh, you'll be hearing military tins in the background as well. That's, uh, I'll be moving my uh, cup of tea. I do love my tea in the winter. I oh, know, it's really strange. I, I have to have a coffee in the morning. But I love my tea to keep warm. Something about tea. Anyway, you don't want me on coffee. Could you imagine me on caffeine? Like too much of it. Keith Gregory, you can get some sweets on the way home. We hope to see you on Friday at Lake and Heath. Oh, do you know what? I'm looking forward to Lake and Heath. That is going to be a bash, that is. Quick climb Friday. Um, we will be on the opposite end of the runway in use for those that are, that are following us. Keith Gregory, thank you very much. Guards March, Keith Gregory in the yellow car. <laughs> see, how you, see, I've got a good memory. I try to remember all of you. We, you know, we got, we're a 32K channel. Thank you very much. Don't forget to hit that like button. These are your orders. And of course, do subscribe to the Ted Coningsby channel. These are your orders from our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. And uh, for those interested in coming in, we do have a uh, an RAF Coningsby guide to plane spot in here if you want to come. There are quite a lot of uh, places, uh, vantage points at RAF Coningsby. Um, you've got the, uh, that bit too intrusive. Um, we've got, as you can see, those cars there. Hello, oi oi, Readham Lane crew. Is that Graham? That looks like Graham and Eric and Ron, I think. I think that, that looks like Graham. Uh, that's the Readham Lane, that's Crashgate 4, as it's known, really good for, uh, for photography, as the light is just beautiful there. That's Crashgate 4. Of course, you've got the other ends of the uh, 
depends what you want really and of course I suppose it matters what runway's in use as well you've got the the main road over that side again we as a as a community and we do like to look out for you please don't stand sort of directly under the approach it's very dangerous it's not just the fact that if an aircraft should get things a little bit wrong or an emergency there may be things that can come off the aircraft so we really don't advise to stand underneath the um, any approach the good thing about the other side 07 end that it does have for your sort of they got uh, the red and white approach fence there which gives you kind of an idea that you're going to be underneath aircraft so we always recommend to be away from there again follow the um safety rules on your vehicle as well please don't park on double yellow lines there are signs there as well that tells you not to park again just check it out and there is a spotter's car park over that side as well so enjoy sounds like chaos is coming back or at least checking in with tower i'll have a little look see what we got debbie brooks how you doing Yeah, Chaos 1 1 low approach. As soon as I see the uh, Chaos flight, I'll just uh, bring it over. Bit of a short flight, but by no means the end. It's funny when you um, just look in the distance and you're looking and looking and then suddenly it's there. Too long now, Lady Shenzhen Teddy Bear's Chaos Flight and Rebel. So Chaos is using the Coningsby's uh, talk down. So talk down is a communication uh, between tower and the aircraft. So this will give you an idea that it's not just going to come out of nowhere. 
Uh, if it uses torque down, it's, that it's basically instructions to the pilot to correct the aircraft to get on the correct glide path. Uh, the pilot can then choose not to land and just do a uh, low approach or a circuit from there, uh, or a touch and go, or, or of course land, and the tower will communicate with the pilot and just literally say, um, basically, for, uh, I'm just trying to think it off the top of my head, followed by instructions, do not acknowledge unless requested. Something like that. Basically, do as you're told, unless I ask you to answer something, but um, it's usually check gear acknowledge and then uh, the pilot will confirm whether the gear is down because they cannot land until they have, they can't be cleared to land until they have confirmed that their gear is down. So it's six miles away and it's on the glide path. And it's five and a half miles now on the center line, so already it's been corrected nicely at the moment. So yeah, five miles on the center line. Check gear acknowledge, gear down, chaos one, two. And if there's more than one, then all elements must confirm that gear is down. approach chaos on the center line on the glide path surface wind eight knots on the center line on the glide path but like I'm part of tower now Behind me, I can hear a start up as well.
bird was right there. No approach.
So nightmare as well, coming in on trails. So we just got a nightmare flight just coming back now. We've uh, just requesting some approaches, I believe. Yeah, we're doing, ladies and gents, the Teddy Bears, Ted Coningsby, channeled live here at RAF Ted HQ. That's right, RAF Coningsby. Oh, yeah. Well, I was getting a bit excited, I thought we were going to get a hunter then. That would have been awesome, wouldn't it? It was a bit close. We've got uh, typhoons coming in, we've got typhoons coming out. You all right? How you doing, okay? Yeah, good, thank you. So, two typhoons in, two typhoons coming in. Four miles away. Let's have a look at them.
find Love Roach. done that was a long wheelie I know it's not officially a wheelie but you know what I mean <laughs> it's winning I think
Tough in. 41 squadron markings. This is Typhoon. enjoying the show and keeping warm wherever you are. There's Alex. Alex is here. <laughs> Let's have a look where we are. How are we doing? Hope we're all good, ladies, gents, teddy bears, Ted Connorsby channel. Strike the luck. Exactly. How are we all doing? Craig Davis, how's it going? Ooh, got a 41 squadron. Uh, got a 41 squadron uh, profile pick for Craig Davis, and we've also got 11 fighter squadron there with uh, Aaron Oxford. This is pretty cool. Anyone got a 12? A 29. Actually, we've got Gaza that uses 29. And, uh, and a free fighter. Chris blocks them with the Reggies. And then we've got Captain A as well. How's it going? Rich, how you doing, my man? Hope you're all good. Captain A with the uh, Royal Air Force uh, 
profile pic. It's amazing how we got all this. It's brilliant. We got Chris Bloxham with uh, Reggie and the TCS. Uh, I know, I'm not sure if he's on here. I haven't seen him yet. We've got Andy Williams that usually has, uh, has Ted flying. I mean, we've got White Wizard with an SR71. We've got Sammy B with all the bears. Uh, we've got... David with LN tail code on what looks like, with that I'm going to guess, that an F111, just from that tail. I think we've got Debbie Brooks as well with, with some bears as well. We've got Argen with a Dutch Air Force as well. Um, I don't know that squadron from that size of that avatar, that, you know, that profile pic, Arjen. I'd love to, uh, if you let me know what it is. Uh, but I'm sure it's an F-6, I'm going to guess that it will be an F-16 squadron. Aerobatic fanatic, watching from Devon, while my daughter Naomi and son-in-law Ed are at Crashgate 2 That's with us. you, Nicholas. That's, us. That's you down there. <laughs> so watching, they're watching from Devon. So we've got. Naomi and son-in-law Ed down there. Is that right? Yes. Oi, oi. Uh, <laughs> this is amazing. Here's something for Ted Salmon and Reggie's trucking for from us all. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it was quite. I just heard this shout down below. <laughs> right, we'll get uh, get a guards march uh, from uh, Aerobatic Fanatic. Watching in Devon. Whereabouts in Devon? Torquay. Torquay. Is that is that? Home of Faulty Towers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You probably know how old I am now. Uh, never mind. Uh, it's all good. <laughs> Cards March, aerobatic fanatic. And uh, so, yeah, Cards March, aerobatic fanatic, Naomi and Ed. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's get this uh, Cards March to. So I think we've just voted on our beret collectors there, Ted. Ed and Naomi, we're we picking up your beret. Should it go flying, I reckon? Yeah. <laughs> we've had two go overboard already this morning, <laughs> uh, this afternoon. It's just been a bit emotional. And uh, yeah, got Alex as well. Alex speaks is here with us as well. Somewhere in there. He's still in there, man. <laughs> he just disappeared. That's fine, man. Exactly. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, well, you put your ears. It's quite nice to have your ears. Finish work. That's good. Come and enjoy with us. Come and have a good time. And ladies, gentlemen, teddy bears, I have Ted a glow stick tonight. Oh no. I think I've actually. Uh, I have to get it actually snapped in my uh, oh well that doesn't this have those connectors I better go and have a look I should have some of those connectors I'm going to put it around his neck <laughs> all right So, Marco Baxter, thank you for gifting five Ted Connorsby memberships. And welcoming to the TCS Posh Officers Club is David Owen. David, thank you for joining the TCS. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ian Wright for some Velcro for Ted's Barry. See, we can't do that, sadly, Ian, because that'll be like waxing your hair off the top of your head. Ouch. Whether you're male or female on that one. So we can't actually do that. Ted's saying that, you know, how would you like it if someone stuck Velcro to your head? Quite rightly so, I think, then, <laughs> Oh, dear. But, you know, does anyone know the story why Ted's Berry is allowed to come on? Does anyone know that? If anyone knows, let me know. Go on. See how well you know the TCS. Why do you think Ted's Berry comes off and who's it in honour to? There we go. Answers. God, who remembers that? Answers on a postcard. Who does that anymore? Does anyone do that anymore? I'm getting nostalgic. Uh, Margo, five Ted Connings Bean memberships gifted by you. Thank you so much. Guards March for Margo all the way in Edinburgh. 
amazing isn't it how we're transmitting guards marches to Devon, Edinburgh, US, Germany, Netherlands, Australia. David Owen, guards march for joining the TCS posh officers. Ian Wright for some Velcro for Ted's Barry. <laughs> Guards March. <laughs> Someone shouting in a field there. Right, be right back. to be last. Why? Because hmm. the queues were up to our car, so we thought we'd just stay in the car. <laughs> Waited for all the queues to go, and then we just walked straight in. Just <laughs> Well, yeah, it's, uh, we, uh, because the, the queues had gone all, because you saw where our car was. The queue had gone all the way around. We're like, is there any point actually being in the queue where we could just sit in the car and have a bit of fun? And, um, and be warm. And be warm. And then we let it go all the way down. And then we just walked in. <laughs> Genius. I think, I, I think I got there at half seven. And yeah. just stood there and chatted to people. Well, yeah. I was on the first bus. Yeah. So I got in and then I'm like, right, I've got a good seat. <laughs> there are a lot of little tricks and tips that, that we've discovered. We strapped air shows. Buckingham. Yeah, there's this little random little bit of verge and there's about three or four cars and that. Like, and we're driving in the car park. And then we get in the car park at the end. And you're like, ah, we're stuck here for two hours. And the genius is walked out the car park to their car, see ya! <laughs> it's like, you genius! So, yeah. The hints and tips of plane spotting. <laughs> well, it's getting there, I think we're taking over. Yeah, we'll take over, we just follow. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, that's cool, man. Thank you. I've got got me old flask there. Uh, a load just come back, so probably not. But they should have shut down by now. There should be two still airborne, I think. Uh, no, those two, and then and I think that's it. Think it was those two. Nah, it was went to Cranwell, I think. Yes. Yeah, it was Scampton and it went to leave it. Alright. Yeah, let's get the rest of the cast out. Hey. Come there now. <laughs> Red Ted. <laughs> what? Are oh, we doing ladies shenzer teddy bears up all good? Just had a quick, quick warm up. It's a nice bit of tea. Let's get some comms on my head. For some chocolate and for Reg. Thanks everyone that's tuned in. Thank you very much. How are we doing? How are we all feeling? 
tell you what uh, Craig Davis thank you well you said about chucking here he is Eey. all right Darnell this is my type of daylight I like this when it's low they can't see me camouflage do you know what I mean or not it's all good round here how we doing my name's Reggie part of the RAF regiment thanks for me chucking do you a guards martial right what's that round hour they chucking I like me chicken. Thanks, Craig Davis. do no. Arr. Thank you very much. I shall enjoy my chucking. My name's Raf Reg Ted, part of the Raf Regiment. There now. Always on the lookout for trouble. There now. What's that? Hope you're enjoying these pretty little planes. I'm not really a plane fan, really. I don't mind sat in one, sitting in one there now, and just being transported and then jumping out. You know what I mean? Round here. Flying over that criteria and then flying out in a parachute there now and then getting my feet on the ground there now. Always got to be on the lookout doing me checks. You could join the RAF regiment if you like to keep, if you're the type that likes to keep the ground safe and secure. A bit, bit, bit like gardeners. A bit like gardening. You, you take pride in your gardening. You've got to look after the ground there now. Maintain it. Anyone steps on the ground, you get a bit emotional about it and you take care of them there now. You're like, oi, what are you doing to my ground there now? And sometimes when it gets too much, fingers with Reggie's, we like, there's two of us. Forward, back, back, kick, we get special moves there now. Hey, oi, hey, oi. Hey, oi, I'm Reggie there now. I'm Reggie there now. Who are you? I'm Reggie. Well, I'm Reggie. Well, if you're Reggie, who am I? Uh, Reggie? Well, that's good there now, isn't it? There's two of us there now. Two Reggies. That's right. What have you been up to today there, Reggie? What you been up to today there, Reggie? Just doing Reggie stuff. Well, I'm just doing Reggie stuff. Well, that's good there now. All right, you know? It's all good. We going fishing later there now? Yeah, a bit of nighttime fishing there now. Look what I've got there now. What's he got here now? It is. I feel like, you see that there now? Oh, that's good there now. I feel like Star Wars. Should I do? Watch me at there now. Hey. Well, behave yourself with that there now. Should we go fishing there now? Yeah! Hang on. No, I'm working there now. Let me just put this lifesaver down there now. Pretty good there now. Like a stick with glow. Oh, it's all good round here now. Always oh, got each other's backs. We're Reggie's. Reggie's have feel. We, we can tell. Look, look at the mush on us. See that? Bigger the mush, bigger the radar. That's how I say it there now. Round here messing around. That's all good round here now. Chucking. I like chucking. You like chicken. I like chicken. It's my favourite there now. We like chicken. We like chicken. We like chicken. We like chicken. Chick, chick in. Chicken licking. Oh yeah. Well, I'm going to go and get me some chicken. You coming here now? I thought we were going fishing. Well, we can do chicken fishing. Chicken fishing. That's a good one. Chicken fishing. Chicken fishing. Chicken fishing. Chicken fishing. Fishing chick. Fishing for chicken. That sounds good. Oh, I, I, I tell you what, why don't we come around here? We're going to get some chucking, and then we're going to get some fishing. Oh, that sounds like a great idea now, now. Well, that's good around here. Right, let's go there now. Uh, thanks a lot for uh, the uh, Reggie Chicken Fund, or Chucken. As it starts to get dark quite early now, Just don't forget clocks go back this Sunday I believe. Is it this Sunday? Uh, yeah. yeah. Last Sunday of the month isn't it? Does that mean we Next Thursday's Halloween, next Tuesday's Halloween it must be yeah. It's this Sunday. So it is yeah.
<laughs> oi oi Monty, how you doing? Uh, where was it? i just seen it, Monty Wesley. I was at Lake and Eve on Monday, I was the son of the woman with the crazy chairs. <laughs> how you doing all, how you doing? Hope you're all well and uh, thank you very much. That was, that was quite entertaining. Oh, there's Colin here. Hi Nikos, question for you. If I came over around 1700 to 1800, are they flying or would that be break time similar to lunch when on days? Oh, good question. I'll have to ask, uh, I'll have to find out. I'll have to find out there and all. God, you know what? It feels really late. It's only 10 to 4. It feels late. <laughs> you look absolutely shot. <laughs> oh yes. Oh. Man, did you see what happened? When? The, as soon as we started. No, because I was at work. How Stop. dare your work not show our show? Yeah, I know. Tell me. Uh, as soon as this, uh, one of the typhoon took off, had an emergency landing, had smoke coming out of the cockpit, went straight back in. Then four performance takeoffs. Two, the first two were like quick climbs. They were like kept it low and then. I'm glad you told me that, Nicholas. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you could have kept that quiet if you didn't. <laughs> no, but this is going to be on loop because you fed it to that, and then that'll be fed to them, and then it will keep going. You're in a vicious circle. <laughs> 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 Just thought I'd break that news to you there and all. Right, how are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Let me catch up with all your messages. Um, how are we all doing? F111, that was correct. Well done, Nikos, F111. Thank you very much. Yeah, I got it. Cool. Um, afternoon, Stephen Ross, Aaron Oxford. Um, who we got else? We got Ian Wright. How you doing? Davey, oi oi. Chris Bloxham, David. David underscore. Oh, no. Cool. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, that's right. 40 Towers. I, I believe it was probably recorded somewhere else. But I think in their sort of poetic license, it was supposed to be in Torquay, wasn't it? I wonder where it was filmed. Anyone know where it was actually filmed? Basil. Right. Mycroft Holmes watching from uh, Australia. Thanks for the shout out, says Aerobatic Fanatic. Meth, how's it going? Sounds like we need more donations to the Spare Beret Fund. <laughs> Time for some techno, me thinks. Uh, David, it's crepes. I'm not watching from East Sussex. We don't get uh, we don't get any jet action here, unless it's an air show weekend. Ted Saber says White Wizard for that one. Doctor Soda, how's it going? David Rodwell, welcome to the Ted Coningsby channel. How's it going? Meth, that is correct. The lady that hung on to the uh, Spitfire elevators. Yep, that is correct on the tail. Absolutely right. That is correct as well. Uh, interesting enough that uh, the Royal Air Force cannot fly with their berets on, or shouldn't fly with their berets on. I know the Chinook crew don't, so Ted doesn't either. Plus, it will be a hazard. Um, yes, for those that know, no, um, Ted had uh, a funny incident, uh, which we won't repeat on here uh, during fly. But that'll do, even though I've said too much. Oh! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's all good. Right, uh, let's have a look what else we got. I have this on and Ted's adventure to the lakes and in the background. Nice. Stephen Madison, how you doing? Sammy B, how's it going? Oh, here we go. Sammy B's gone into detail. That's good. In 1952, former leading aircraft woman, uh, Margaret Horton, uh, recounted a terrifying wartime experience. Uh, that is correct. She did hang on to the Spitfire 8, and it's uh, the actual aircraft that she hung on to is here. It's AB910. That's right, AB910. It's here. It's uh, part of the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight Collection. And it still flies, and that is the very aircraft that Margaret Horton hung on to. 
She was part of the Women's Auxiliary Air Force as well. <laughs> Someone's just given me an idea actually. Let's have a look how this is gonna go, I don't even know what how this is gonna end up. I am Red Ted. Darth Ted! You belong to me. Join the red side of the force. <laughs> I have no idea where that was going, but it went. <laughs> well, they got the dark side. Why not the red side of the force? Anyway, moving on. Uh... Coningsby, Ted HQ, how are we doing ladies, gents and teddy bears? Hope we're all good, hope you're feeling well and I hope you're warm wherever you are. Some interesting uh, horizon there. I love that break, can you see that? That break and then you've got that golden sort of layer. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you there! Got our word with him. Oh, I'm gonna get you there, Red Ted. I need a word of you. Come back down here now. Good shot. <laughs> at the uh, teddy bear retrievers at the dispersal team. I think Red. I think Reggie's gone somewhere. Where did Reggie go? He hasn't gone over, has he? Oh, he's here. That's oh, all right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thanks. No, we have had. We have had to call the base to get. It's uh <laughs> Thank you. We have the teddy bear uh, retrieval team. From De are you both from Devon? Yeah. You are. Wow. Cool. Part of the bear force. Margot, thank you for that. Don't, don't forget, no bears are harmed in the making. They're all professional bears. They, they know what to do. They are 
they carry out their stunts professionally so if you are a teddy bear watching please don't try that at home uh, <laughs> thank you very much that must have looked pretty cool on the on the on the big imagine that on a big screen the lunge so that's known as the regiment lunge ted the sensible one there just uh, doing his thing there guards march for um margot baxter for that um red ted may the farce be with you deliberate spelling there <laughs> thank you very much there margot hope you're all good and uh crush gate two is quite busy today it's quite nice nice and chilled out nice and calm all is good and it looks like we've got the Embraer ERJ 145 taxiing out for departure look at the lighting man <laughs> I love it when they say that bear with me. I usually go, where? Where's the bear? Guy on the comm said, bear with me for two minutes. There's a bear with that gentleman for two minutes. Okay, so this is um, eventually going to go... So this is the sort of like the uh, work aircraft, the commuter for uh, BA Systems. Big shout out to BA Systems. This will go to and fro Wharton Aerodrome but it will also go to Lossy Mouth as well to pick up the crew there or take the crew there and pick up crew here and take the crew back to BA Systems not a bad jet to uh, to get to work in Sounds like startups, which is pretty good.
So the uh, ERJ145 Embraer is doing what's called a backtrack. So that means using the runway as a taxiway. Because it can't, oh well, it's quite a large aircraft, but it can't actually go over the rag either. So it will do a, a 180 just before the rag. You'll see it in a moment, the rag. The rotary hydraulic arrestor gear. As you know, as the arresting cable as well, lots of names given, but in the RAF it's called the RAG RHAG. So, due to its gear, it can't actually go over the RAG, and we'll do a 180 just before it. You'll see it very shortly. Look, there's the RAG. Felix, as in cat. And clear for takeoff. We're ready. Hello, mate. How you doing? You get the wow special, special delivery. Check these out. I'll be right back, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. One sec. All right. How you doing, Tim? All right. I'll come and have a look. Come down and see you. You're part of the stream now. <laughs> I'm popular because I'm paying oh, for that. Um, there you go, mate. Listen, take the bike. Okay, do what you want. Right, okay, then I'll yeah, get to that. It's perfect, thank you. puppets magically doesn't mean I've got a third hand you know that was good that was good that was good uh, thank you Tim honestly thank you so much no worries, mate. what was that for a, man you should have done that no, it's just a little help mate, it? yeah, oh man you come on man that was get. that was that was those four takeoffs were amazing weren't they <laughs> oh yeah oh, did you I was in gate one just down there yeah literally it was uh, four performance takeoffs in a row yeah what was all that about it was it was like um it was like the quick climbs as well. Yeah. Bigger. Oh, you, you can't just do that and not have that. Thank no. you for that. No, mate, listen. I feel like I should do a dance. <laughs> 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 Mind you, I'm announcing my dancing. Let's <laughs> keep that one here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, buddy. You take care. I'm going to shoot. Okay, okay. Have so fun. Have a good time. 
Are you going back to Crash Gate 1? No, I'm going back to Rats Okay. I've got the door. Okay, mate. Alright, <laughs> thanks. Thanks. Take, Take care, Tim. See you again, Good to yeah? see you again, man. Take care. Thanks, man. Fred Vernals, how you doing? Good afternoon to you. Margot, how's it going? Dr. Soda, big shout. I'll tell you what, let's do a um, guard to march for Tim Gooch for that, for that special delivery. That was so kind. So when Tim replays this, uh, guards march for Tim, Tim Gooch. Thank you. Here it is. Very, very generous. Tim Gooch, thank you so much. He's just over there, he's uh, just driving off or waving. And uh, shout out to all the. Oh, we've got a Crashgate 2 massive here. <laughs> yeah, we've got Naomi, got Ed, Alex, and. You're, you're part of this, what's your name, kiddo? Adam, Adam big shout out to Adam. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> How did you get here? Oh, okay, gotcha. That's fine. That's fine, mate. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice one. Yeah, good shout. Good shout. And Merlin as well. I forgot about Merlin. The uh, it was uh, one of the one of the. Uh, Bears, soft toys that were named live on the show. When was that? Was it, it was one of the coronations, wasn't it? It was the Troop in the Colour. Troop in the Colour, wasn't it? Taxi from the main. Triple X flight coming out, 29 Squadron. Round a ball. Sounds serious. Oh. Sounds like a few issues there with uh, some of the typhoons. Keep you updated on the uh, on the latest and greatest. Josh Hopkins, good morning or good afternoon from Southern California. Hope everyone's doing good today. Well, here in the UK, it is uh, late afternoon. Thank you very much. taxiing out very shortly what a lovely sky we're gonna get we're gonna should get some well hopefully get a nice uh, sunset as well but what a start to the show ladies gentlemen teddy bears that emergency landing straight off the takeoff and then we had the four performance takeoffs and then on the return we had some wonderful wonderful circuits being carried out full of low approaches and uh, and touch and goes and so on absolutely magic Big shout out to AWCU crew. How you doing? Not sure who's on today. I'm sure our friend. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, look at the colour from the canopies. Look at the glow on that. Beautiful. Uh, 29 squadron. Circuit clear. 
here as well. So we've got the typhoon. Oh, hello. Sorry, new jacket syndrome just bashed here. Yeah, here we go, just behind us now. This looks good. So we've got two typhoons taxiing. And here we go. Again, 29 squadron. And the operational conversion unit. So once the pilot has passed successfully their fast jet training at RAF Valley, if their career is the Typhoon, they will come here and fly with 29 squadron. And then from there, it's, well, they're wherever. Could be Lossy Mouth, could be here. It's known as an OCU, Operational Conversion Unit. They weren't always an Operational Conversion Unit, they were a fighter squadron as well at one point in World War II as well. Here we go. Come on, send it, come on, here we go.
with the smoke. I don't think that's the base, is it? No, no, it'd be the farmer. <laughs> it did look very close there. You noticed that uh, call sign triple x is 29 squadron triple x it's also the uh, official markings squadron markings on the aircraft now for over a hundred years the story is that during world war ii as well that uh, when markings on the fuselage were applied to the aircraft they would also have squadron markings as well but the story is told that when they were what they were going to do they were going to have like a, a roundel with the markings xx and 1x now depending on how you read what i've just said that the designers put an xx and another x instead of xx 1x which uh, a 1 and an x in roman numerals is 9 so with the two x's would be uh, 29 however it wasn't read that way it was designers put an xx and another x instead of putting one x that's how they read it that's how one of the stories it's sort of a tradition that's been told for over a hundred years now the other thing is that it, there's also other stories linked with the uh, extra strong mints and so on but i do like the uh the misinterpretation with the designer anyway here we go touch and go over here because then you can match your call sign with the Typhoon and what it's going to do.
go. This is Typhoon 307 and uh, just behind is Typhoon 306. Uh, sorry, touch the boat.
goes from both of the typhoons again. That's what makes a pilot the best. Keep practicing, keep doing all the manoeuvres over and over again. So when the time comes, it's just natural instinct, second nature to do a touch and go. Helpful manoeuvre if something is wrong on the runway or there's a hazard on the runway, anything like that. An aircraft that just happens to just taxi on the runway or a vehicle, quick reactions, job done. Should be a low approach. There we go. circuits from both again low approach
Hatching hose, here we go. <laughs> More circuits. Oh yeah.
That was a manoeuvre to avoid a bird strike just then. 600 feet the pilot reported. And I was zoomed in a lot better. So Typhoon 307 finally bringing the circuits to an end and it's been absolutely enjoyable, especially when the uh, pilot puts on the reheat there. Reheat, afterburner, same thing, just different vocab in different countries. Afterburner US, reheat UK English. They're the same thing. and teddy bears, some vanilla colours, sky blues, deep blues and gold and lovely hues there, slight bit of pink there as well, we're going to get all of it tonight, until it goes absolutely pitch black. Gold 
golden colours there. Look at the canopy lit up there. And the refraction. Or refraction. spoken to all of you for a while now it was uh, some serious amount of circuits there look at the way this horizon this cloud line is uh, giving us that layer of gold stunning pretty good with the reheats very good And of course, uh, oh, thanks a lot, Chris, for the uh, updates there. Thank you very much. Pretty good. Some good results. We're on 32.2k. Yes. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, who's tuned in? Let me have a look. I haven't spoken to you for a while. We've got Aaron Oxford. How's it going? Hope we're good. Steve Rowe, Andy Simpson. Oi, oi. Ted and Nikos, another great episode of today's flying at RF Coningsby. Truly awesome. Thanks, Nikos and Ted, always. As always, thank you very much. Ian Wright. Diana Rolf. Oi, oi. Damon Head, how's it going? Thanks for the photos, man. That was that was pretty cool with Matt. Uh, thanks a lot, Damon Head. Shout out to you and Matt. Margo, how's it going? Beach Coma Bloke, how's it going? David, Sammy B, oi oi. Rebecca, how's it going? Davey, Darren Parsons. Mark Head, big, big oi oi to everyone. Shout out to the teddy bear Wallace as well. Davey, absolutely hit that like button, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Let's get this channel growing even more. We're at 32.2k. How's it going? Uh, shows a more. Says, wow. Marco's been in and out. Bedfordshire crew joining in. Markhead, how's it going? Silver Trig. That was a great half an hour of entertainment just from these two typhoons. They did, they definitely sent it. It was just the two just doing circuits. That was call cool signs for those interested. Typhoon 306 and 307. In the live says Mark Head. Katie Weber, how's it going? Good evening to you. Spooky McD, how's it going? Amazing stream as always. Thanks very much. Thank you. Argan, how's it going? Good afternoon, everyone. Please gently tap the like button on your way in. Of course, help the channel grow. It's really important to hit that like button, ladies, gents, teddy bears. The likes will get YouTube excited. The more likes, so if we can hit 1,000K, then YouTube will recommend the stream. So if it gets recommended, that means more exposure. More exposure means more potential viewers, and more potential viewers could lead to conversion of subscribers. 
Rebecca, how's it going? Oi, oi, span a fly. Meth, Uber yourself, Ted, AT, uh, Uber yourself, uh, hang on. Uh, sorry, uh, Meth, Uber yourself and Ted, AT, Nikos, thank you very much to you, Guards March, for that. And Nick Ward as well. Okay, I'm just going to just um, just contact my spanner flight just really quickly about something. Don't worry, Meth. Guards March coming up. Right, Guards March for Meth and Nick Ward. Nick Ward, I haven't seen it. Come on there, man. But I'll do your Guards March anyway, of course. March. Meth, thank you very much for that, for the super chat. Thank you very much. And Nick Ward, although it hasn't come through, but we'll uh, of course give you a guards march for your super chat earlier. There can be a glitch sometimes there. Grab a quick cup of tea just before the. Uh... Listen in, see how we're doing. Hope we're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Hope you're all well. Wish you all a very warm evening if you were.
Triple X not far away now. We'll probably come in on initial. It's just uh, checking with ATC. We've got Tom to put the lid on the flask. Let's have a look. Triple X flight just coming in now. Let me see whereabouts they are. Circuit clear. That's the uh, runway caravan crew swapping shifts over there. Oi, oi, big shout out to them. Such an exposed, dangerous job in my eyes. Um, who remembers Valentine's Day this year? We remember the uh, Valentine's Day special was. Uh, interesting the fact that they had to get evacuated because the visibility was that bad here we go triple x here they come two ship sounds oh yeah if you're wondering what the fgr4 stands for as you may see the typhoon fgr4 that stands for fighter ground reconnaissance Mumful. give it some low approach here we go triple x 29 squadron ted squadron is coming up triple X
one of that. Check out the colors, beautiful. Here we go. A go around pilots uh, just complaining about the birds, a flock of birds. There's been a few uh, go arounds that have been going on, so it wasn't quite a low approach. Uh, and um, pilots have been saying about the uh, flock of birds at the north of the base. and just sort of flying in, there's not a lot you can do and um, sometimes you can actually make things worse as well so, you know, it's just one of those things where, I mean, the, the highly skilled AWC that we have here, the Airfield Wildlife Control Unit they, they, do you know what, some of the things they can they actually make themselves and it's fantastic what they do there's only so much they can do in the base quite hard to manage stuff coming towards the base and in the airspace They said the pilots. I'm not sure where they are. 
going somewhere south this time. You can see a flock of birds, obviously, way really outside the base, just went past there.
Now we're doing Lady Shen's Teddy Bears. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. Ted Coningsby live here at RAF Coningsby. Ted HQ. Ted time. Night shift now. Right, how we doing? Don't forget, hit that like button, Lady Shen's Teddy Bears. Hope we're all good. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Lovely, kind words from all of you. Hope you're all good. Oi, oi, Rebecca, how's it going? Chris Bloxham hit the like, Davey, Chris Bloxham, hope you're good man, hitting the subscribe, definitely hit the subscribe. Our span of flight doing what they can to uh, push the channel forward as they do, thank you so much. Mark Head, oi oi to you Davey, Margot, oi oi, Andy Williams, there he is, oi oi, Spooky McD, Mark Head, Ian Wright, lovely to see you all still on here, thank you very much. Darren Parsons, Davey says, look at this, big shout out to all the ground crews, thanks for the uh, aneering service. You are the greatest, absolutely. Oh, thanks a lot, Aaron Oxford. The videography is unequaled, Nikos. You are a master of your art. Exceptional quality. Thank you very much. I've been trying a few different things today, actually. I uh, don't know if you noticed, I've been doing a lot more framing the picture. So, like, we had, for example, we had the two typhoons on holding, and I, and I kept them in the frame while the other typhoons were coming into land. Just having a little bit of thought just using a bit of the photography in me there but thank you mephro tones are on the new tcs duo <laughs> love it <laughs> nice one marcus welding how's it going sam bastin watching this from my holiday balcony in tenerife great footage and stream thanks very much susan smith how's it going That's it. <laughs> Nicely said, Aaron. I know. Uh, so yeah, I know we call them wheelies, but that's not the, the actual term. It's uh, aerodynamic braking, just in the aerodynamics of the air aircraft, bring it, the aircraft to a full stop. Thanks a lot for your kind words, Captain A. Nikos never lets us down. Thank you very much.
Do, 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 do. Hope we're all good, ladies, shins, teddy bears. Bit of a quiet hour now, I think it is going to be, but uh, no worries. Stay with us on this uh, nice evening stream that we've got for you. Slight bit of flood in here. Look, you see that? <laughs> Roast truck and meth. <laughs> is it who I think it is? Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Siri, you lose that haircut. Not right. I don't know, Anthony, you are. You've been alright. Falling out through old age, That's all good, good mate. Yeah, man. How are you? Yeah, good, man. Yeah, very good. What are you been up to? Uh, not a lot. Just uh, chilling, really. Yeah. Chilling, working, chilling. more chilling. Yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll yeah. copy of this. Yeah, you know. Okay. Awesome, man. What about you? Where, where have you been? Where have your travels taken you? Uh, Lossie. Went to Lossie Mouth. Oh, right. Yeah, did uh, three days there. Nice. And uh, yeah, that was, it was really good. The weather was emotional. Yeah? That yeah. bad, I had to cut the stream. It was, they were really? I uh, think we had like 50 miles an hour winds with the, with the rain. And uh, then, it just, then it just turned out nice. Just after that, just, that was it. It was like, yeah, thank you. It was the storm before the calm. The yeah, other way around. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, other than that, it was really enjoyable. Good. We did Lake District. But, uh, yesterday I was at Bryce Norton. Just a good time. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Right, just send that to you. Obviously, oh. the, the top two, you'll see where I'm not yeah, yeah, airborne yeah, yeah. on here, but they've just landed. Yeah, so. it's all good. Yeah. Good. So, how was the drive up to Lossie then? That's right. It's, it's over there. It's pointing down there. Well. Uh, yeah, yeah how, was the, um, how was the drive up to Lossie? Yeah, yeah. 10 hours. Yeah, 10 <laughs> hours. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the van was all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah, I had it serviced before. Right. Before I went yeah. and just uh, nice. Just went. How much fuel did you have to put in it? What did it cost you with fuel? Um, I think uh, adding up uh, 75 to get there. Oh, right. 10 That's hours, nice. 400 and something miles. Not yeah. too bad. Epic. Did yeah. you do it all in a one yes, we did. Yeah. yeah, we went for it. We were going to do the old stay for six hours, like do six hours stop. Yeah. Just keep going. Who so, did you, you uh, travel with? My missus. Oh, yeah. right, okay. Yeah, the cool. Claire Bear. We, um, yeah, <laughs> we uh, stayed like uh, in Elgin, which is like five minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's nice so, yeah. Elgin. And then, then we stayed at Lossie Mount. Right. Yeah. So we woke yeah. up and we were there. So. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Good. Ted's cool. been flying everywhere at the moment. Has he? He's been in a lot of jets at the moment. Nice. Yeah, he's been flying around. Oh, that's cool. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, I've had to do a couple of shifts over at um, Cranwell. Oh, right. Um, do you ever go to Cranwell? I have done, yeah. Yeah, well, they... Um, they had a lot of issues with the um, state of the grass on one side of the airfield, so they, they weed killed the whole lot. They basically took it back down to bare earth almost, and then they, they reseeded it. And because they were putting down seed, they thought it was going to bring in lots of birds. So Sappho said, right, well, I want two sappos. Um, so they, they, they put extra shifts on, so I got some extra shifts, which was nice. Um, there was hardly any extra bird out of it, so it was ah. like pointless. Ah. I see why they fall. I, I know they're, they're thinking yeah. this behind yeah, yeah. it. So, yeah, but um, yeah, a bit of extra money in my pocket, so that was all right. Good times. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Ten days off before I'm back here again. Oh, okay. I think. Yeah, so, I've started a new um, 
a new part-time job, even more part-time than this. So I'm doing bank work so I can fit it in around here. Really? Um, but bank work is in, not, not, not in a bank, bank work is in yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, support work for an adult with autism. Okay. So I tell them when I'm available and if they have any spare shifts, they throw them my way. What well, helps um, uh, people with autism banking? No, 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 but bank work is just what they refer to, like, um, that, that style of um, okay. providing my availability. So, right. I, I don't know why they call it bank, but they do. Anyway, oh, I see. Yeah, um, not money. Okay. Not, 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 not banking I thought money. I actually a bank no, manager. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Um, so so I'm, I'm on their books as an employee, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not yeah, giving yeah, in the hours. Yeah, I, I tell them when I'm free and if they need me, yeah. they take me. Um, that's what they mean by bank. I don't know why they call it bank, but... Yeah, so that's all right. So it sort of opened my eyes to a completely different, yeah, sort of, uh, different industry, if you like. I've never worked in anything like that before, but it's good. It's good. He, um, twice a week, this this guy, he's, he's 29, and uh, he's awesome. He's non-verbal, um, or pretty much non-verbal. We'll say like, yes, you know. Um, and twice a week he goes to um, a place called Interskills in Louth, which is like, um, it's like a craft place um, for people with learning difficulties. And they do all these things, and they make stuff, and they sell it, and that's what supports Interscopes. And um, so I've been going up there, and uh, there's like ten of these guys that are students, I call them, I and I'm with all different sort of learning difficulties. And it's great, and they're funny as, honestly, they are funny as. <laughs> they all get on really well, they take the piss out of each other, and it's brilliant. And it's, I'm, I'm there thinking, well, this is cool, and I'm, getting, I'm, I'm mucking in and doing all the craft stuff yeah. with them, and thinking I'm getting paid for this, it's not like a real job, it's great. Oh, man. So, so at the minute I've got this and, and, and that, and two really stress-free jobs, so I'm loving life. Oh, well done, man. Nice yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, I'm still waiting on Taft to uh, retire, though, the old boy. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping, well, it's going to be in the new year when he when he goes, hopefully, but he was saying that last year and he changed his mind, so... What, here? For here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was supposed to retire last Christmas. And um, so I got to Christmas thinking, brilliant, I'll be going full time. Aww. And he said, no, I'm going to do another year. No, I'm so, <laughs> but he's, so far, throughout this year, so far, he's told me he's going to leave at Christmas. Um, he's going to leave <laughs> February. He's going to leave March or April. And that's in no particular order. It varies depending on the direction of the wind, I think. <laughs> so who knows, mate? Who knows? But, uh, there you go. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to it. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. It's pretty quiet, isn't it? It's yeah, still. it started off really good. Really good uh, start off. I had one, the first typhoon that took off had smoke in the cockpit and had to land straight away. Oh, did it? Yeah, oh. the first one, literally, the first take off. We're like, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well, well maybe yeah. we'll get some more excitement later. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? There's, thanks, there's man. A, there's a Chinook coming in, I think, on the program. Uh, what day? Oh, really? I think so. Okay, I'll have a look. Uh, oh no, maybe not. I don't know. What's an AS36? Hammer 10 call sign. Hammer 10. Interesting. I assumed it was a Chinook, but I don't know. Where's Echo, Echo Golf, Victor Golf? I don't know where Victor Golf is. I'll find out. <laughs> let, message me. Will you find I will. out? Let me know. I'll let you know what it is. Oh. Cheers, man. Right, how we doing ladies and gents, Teddy Bears, just catching up with a friend of mine.
How are we doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? Hope we're all good. All right, let's have, a, let's have a quick. Right, just uh, gonna catch up on uh, some things here. Right, where are we at? What time we got? So, 17.40 local here at RAF Coningsby. Hope we're all good. Hopefully in the next hour, or on the hour, shall we say. Hopefully some more movements. It's usually done that way on the half hour or on the hour, but let's, uh, it's not always set in stone. It is uh, military operations after all. We just uh, turn up and hope for the best. How's it all going, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, we're here till about. Let me have a look. I'm gonna be here till. Let me just check, just so you know. Mm -mm -mm, probably about nine o'clock local. Yeah, about nine o'clock we should be finished. So yeah, that's our sort of our time target to finish. And uh, yeah, nice one. How's it all going? How are we all feeling? Hope we're all good. I'm just gonna build uh, build Ted's glow stick here. If it works. <laughs> I think Wingy would have loved this at Bournemouth. Might be a bit too big for Ted. Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby and uh, hopefully some movements at six perhaps so I usually say that especially at Whole Beach on the hour let's have a look at what Ted looks like with this little glow uh, let's have a look Ted mind you it would probably be better at night wouldn't it Ted <coughs> be safe be seen Ted look like you're doing the hula oh my god Ted's doing the hula hoop hang on Actually, probably best to take your barrier off when you do this, Ted. Go on, Ted. Just some, some hula hoop action. Nope. <laughs> right, 
Ted's not really into the hula hoops at the moment. Let's have a look. Who else can have a go? Let, um, what about Reggie? Reggie's probably your best bet. Reggie. Right, don't know. Oh, God, have a go at this. Oh, yeah, he's got it. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, dear. How are we doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? Hello from Washington. Jeff Grew, how's it going? Joshua Brown, how's it all going? Hope we're good. Darren Arwood, I'm on chuck and kebab for tea. Darren R, that's cool. Love that. Craig Bruce, good afternoon. Well, good evening to you. Good evening to everyone that's tuned in. And of course, good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, wherever it is that you're watching from. Thank you very much. Much appreciate that you're all tuned in. Thank you. How are we doing on the likes? How are we doing? Are we good? Do we have a thousand yet? Can we get it? Be pretty cool if we can. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna just wait to see what what comes next. Oh, all good. So they're using runway two five for those that don't know and have just tuned in. Ted Coningsby channel. We are live here at REF Coningsby and welcome you to our late night show and we were treated to four performance takeoffs two of them were in the style of quick climbs oh yes they look awesome they were all four of them were from uh, free fighter squadron <clears throat> so all is good and we also had our emergency which didn't need a lot of assistance the pilot said to her i got that bit of reassurance that i kept the stream rolling and uh, it was reports of uh, the pilot reported smoke coming uh, um, smoke in the cockpit so probably from electrical perhaps I'm not too sure I'm not 100% sure but that was my imagination um, that it was probably smoke coming from electrical equipment inside perhaps not too sure like I said that sort of thing won't ever get publicized but safe landing um, it literally happened straight away on takeoff as soon as he uh, when airborne the pilot just said uh, got to return back straight away going into downwind so that was very very dramatic at the beginning and then of course we had our four performance takeoffs and uh, we're here now here live at RAF Coningsby how we doing how we doing so yes just to keep a uh, give us an idea uh, perhaps on the hour maybe on the half hour so let's hope we get some movements at six o'clock but at the moment there are currently no startups so could be a bit longer than that So tomorrow we are at Hull Beach Air Weapons Range. Place to bring your aircraft to blow up and shoot stuff. Let's hope for some action there. Hope for a Chinook. Hope for anything. We don't mind as long as it comes in and starts shooting stuff or doing some amazing dry strafing as they call it. Where no armament is fired. But it's always good to see ordnance, isn't it? Usually, come on. Who doesn't like a bit of safe, bit of target shooting on the range to watch safely as a spectator. And I do love to bring that to you. And then Friday we're at, uh, planning to be at RAF Lake and Eve for Quick Climb Friday. Quick Climbs, we are usually at the other end of the runway in use, so we'll have to do our little bit of homework. And uh, yeah, we've, uh, again, with the likes of Hull Beach Air Weapons Range and any, any military operations, you know, things like we witnessed our last trip to RAF Hull Beach Air Weapons Range, you know, things can just... Uh, get cancelled things can go tech game over so yeah and don't forget come on how are we doing Where are we? wow we are aiming for 33,000 subscribers ladies gents and teddy bears we've uh, hit 32.2 which is great absolutely brilliant fantastic stuff
Hey, we, you right there now, my kind of lighting. I like this sort of thing round here. Arr, how we doing round here? Hope you hit that like button round there now. Ah, here comes me friend. Very similar type of thing we do. He works on the pretty little planes. That's right. And I like to look after the ground that the pretty little planes like to take off from. Here he is. Hey, all right, Case. How you doing there? How you doing, Reggie? You all right? I'm all right there, Drew. How you doing? You good there now? Yeah, my name's Grand Crew Drew. Nice to meet you. How are we all doing? Hope you're all good. I'm Grand Crew. Not a lot of people know about us. We take care of the aircraft. We make sure that they're airworthy and they can fly, get servicing. Get a bit mucky sometimes, but it's always good to make sure that the aircraft are safe because safety is in the pilots and in our air crew's interest. Safety first. That's how it is. You know what I mean? That's how we do it. It sounds good there now. All about safety. Is that what you do? Yeah, so basically, Reggie, you know, we've got to like make sure that everything's tip top in the aircraft, ready for the pilots. Pilots don't want to know. You know what I mean? If the if the aircraft ain't working, it's gone to take, they're like, well, get me another one. Like that. Honestly, it's unbelievable. They're like, get me another one. Oh, dearie me. Sometimes when we're on queue, we've got to make sure that they, not only are the queue jets ready, but we've also got to make sure that the, uh, you know, that the spares are ready and all. Oh, amazing. Oh, sounds pretty technical, that there and all. Yeah, sounds good though, being in that responsibility to make sure that the aircraft are all good though. Yeah, it's alright, I love it, I do get satisfaction. Since I was a nipper on my BMX, you know, fly, you know, when I saw this Phantom flying, I was just cycling on my BMX, saw this F4 Phantom, it was beautiful. I don't know what... Oh, yeah, I know the Phantoms. They were here once upon a time ago. Yeah, yeah, they're lovely. Honestly, when I seen it, my friends were like, oh, I want to be a pilot, I want to be a pilot. I'm like, nah, I want to fix it. And they laughed at me. And I was like, nah. Well, the thing is, I said to them, well, if that ever breaks down, who's going to fix it? Can't just go and get another one. We're always on the ground fixing things, we are. And that's how we do it. We like to make sure that all the aircraft are tipped up. Sounds good there, no. Just like me with my rifles and my equipment. I like to make sure they're all nicely tip chop, as you say. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely brilliant, Ed. It's all good, Reggie. What are you doing later, Reggie? Oh, I'm just going to go and. Uh, well, I was planning to go fishing. Fishing? What now? Yeah, it's good there, no. I'm relaxing, get some flask of tea, and just have a good time there now. Make sure we bring some chucking. Oh, nice one. Well, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, I'm wrong. It's all good round here. Arr! Cool, careful there, Reggie. Well, you get a sore throat doing that. What do you mean? Well, you know, are you a pirate? Nah, it's just the way I am there. Okay, don't worry. It's all good. Might have to, uh, gotta make sure I nip down to the sweep shop before it closes. They close at six. Gotta make sure I get topped up with my flying saucers. I love those sweets. Oh, they're good there, aren't they? There at all. Yeah, they're good there. It's all right, Reggie. It's all good. You coming along? Do you want to come to the sweet shop? Oh, I could do. Could we just go and get some chucking at KFC or something? KFC? My goodness me. Oh, I've been at KFC for a long time. Yeah, hey, come along now. Let's go and get some chucking, me old mother. Come on in. All right, mate. Well, let's go to the sweet shop. Now we go and get some chucking. Hey, that's my boy. It's been like me there. It's been like a proper Reggie. Hi, Paul. Here. That sounds good round there now. Gotta go and get me uh, looking around there uh, with me mush. Oh, I think it's funny when you say mush there, Reggie. Yeah, it's my radar. I sense danger, I'll look after you. You were the best, you were the Reggies. That well, sounds good, whatever you say, mate. Right, let's go to the sweet shop together, mate. Come on in. Mind how you go and hit that light button on the way out. It's beginning to sound like uh, another accent of Reggie's there. Those two are hilarious, they crack me up. So no startups just yet, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. I'll be back in one moment. I'm just gonna, because of the change in temperature, I'm just gonna move some of my electricals out of the way. Condensation. You get a lot of that when you when I pack up at night on a night. The whole roof of the van is just like, just 
full of moisture on it. So if I've got any batteries lying around, just to get rid of them. The bears start to feel a bit damp as well, bless them. It's all right. It's all right, Nicholas, it's all right. Yeah, how's it going? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Good. I see on no tums that the, this 2.5 ILS, it's out. It's US. It has been for a week and it is till about the 27th. Mm. That's probably why they've been having towers talking down. Ah, right. Because it, it says, it, well, it says an ILS um, runway 2.5. Yeah. And I, I would imagine it's this one that's, yeah, that's, that's it. US that's at the yeah. minute. It's yeah. unserviceable at the minute. Yeah, because I've been doing uh, using the torque down quite a bit. That's what I say. I know at the beginning when I I'll see you, I see you strength beginning. Well, before I see it went down, I see it's one. Oh, have you been? You've been down today, haven't you? It's gone down. Sorry. You restarted, rebooted it again, did you today? Uh, no, it just did a re did it on its own. Oh well, I see it at the beginning when you sort of had that one. Sorry. Take off and then come back round. Yeah. Again. I'll see that one. Oh, I had to tip her to the hospital because she's been having injections in her eye probably this last few months. And she had to, she uh, was supposed to have a, uh, a check up and she ain't got a letter the other day, so she rung up. She said, Oh, yeah, yeah we've got an appointment this afternoon if you want to go. Oh, I hope five she's five all right. Past, five past three, yeah. five past four. Yeah. She used to be at five past three and sort it out. But, uh, she's still got to go again because she's still got a bit of fluid in her eyes. So yeah. Oh, no. Well, I hope she's all right. But I just thought I'd have an air or two down here, yeah. you know, sort of just a bit of fresh yeah, air. Yeah, get some fresh air, it's always good for you. Yeah. No, I, I just looked at No Tam to see what was happening there because they said something about that a crane being up there as well. Yeah. It was causing issues or whatever, or could it cause issues? Yeah. Yeah, potentially. Okay. Uh, yeah. No. Shouldn't be too long for the next lot. No. You tell people on the hour, hopefully it's not a missed hour and it goes on to the next one. I shouldn't think so because looking at what they, they've been doing these last two or three nights, it's not been much late after nine o'clock. Oh right, okay. The fairly... no time's only until nine anyway tonight. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty good. I'd yeah, I mean the, nice. looking at the tracker, most nights or most days or what, they've not been doing much. You know, 
half past one, two o'clock time. Yeah. First lot out. Oh, right. And, you know, about this time I then go out. And actually, there's not been a lot to wear, you know. Okay. You know, four or five, eight, like, probably up to six or seven. Yeah. Each session, whatever, and that's about a lot. You know. Not not as many as that in August when we had that 12, about 16 doubles. Oh, month. yeah, that was brilliant. That. You know, in one session. But yeah. Yeah. Let's see how everyone's doing on here now. Let's have a look here now. Now we're doing Lady Shenzhou Teddy Bears. You can see now that the, uh, it's getting dark. <laughs> it's getting dark. I'm just going to do a couple of adjustments, just one second. Get ready for the night times. Oh, a bit of super game plus. We don't want super game. Let me just, uh, change that, we don't want a super game, we just want a standard game. Yeah, what we'll do, we'll, uh, get it ready for night action. Let's do the settings, get them ready for tonight. There we go, that's better. very good evening to my UK viewers and of course a very good morning or good evening or good afternoon to our uh, worldwide viewers how are we all doing hope you're all good we do have viewers from all over the world and it's very happy and we're very proud to have you on board with us Chris, I love the uh, I love that pic of Ted that you've just put on there. We've got Wenda. Very good morning. Uh, good morning. Very good. Uh, good evening to you, Wenda. How's it all going? Hope you're all good. Uh, Marcus Folding. After just reading your message, it just had the two of them just come on actually. So they're off to the sweet shop, and then obviously going to get some chucking. Uh, David uh, Fairley, how's it going? Ted Shake, new drink. So David, uh, our uh, spanner flight, I've just answered that. You can join the Ted Coningsby Squadron, ladies, gents and teddy bears, that's right. And uh, joining us, it does really help fund our channel. It really does. And it's such an awesome thing to do if you can help fund the channel, being part of our squadron. Let me just, uh, let me get Ted with his, uh... it's going to look pretty cool, but it's a bit big, it's a bit big. Let me just, uh, we'll talk about membership as well. You have to shake these things, Ted. That's pretty cool. I'm going to just uh, shake this glow stick, see if it does any... I was going to say, it don't last long. Sorry, right, Ted. Ted, I've got put your little glow stick here, mate. I don't know how that's going to work on Ted, but... Oh, I see. Maybe I can pop it on. Hang on. Sorry, ladies and silly bears. Just going to do a little... There we go. Right. I'm not sure what to make of this, Ted. Hang on. You'll see what I mean, viewers. Mm -hmm. 
look at Ted there and his like protective equipment. Look at him there now. So yeah, Lady Shenta Teddy Bears, you can help fund the channel. Let me just sort that out, Ted. You can be part of the Ted Coningsby Squadron. That's right. For just £1.99 a month, you can help the squadron and fund it. As you can see, this week already we've been to Lake Neath, then we went to Bryce Norton, back here then at Ted HQ. And all that does cost a lot of fuel, so your membership does help our channel get funded, literally, because all the membership funds that we get does help put fuel in our van. That's right. So help that is literally that. And when we go to Lossy Mouth, you may have heard it costs about £75 of fuel to get there and then £75 back. And of course, we paid for accommodation. Your funding helps get the channel to go to places like Mac Loop, Lossy Mouth. We have been to RAF St. Morgan. We'll have to go there again. It's a bit random, but we'll have to do that again. It helps fund the, uh, the lost airfields. Uh, we pay a professional to do the drone work for us. And yeah, and these things do cost money, but we do give you lots of awesome perks with your YouTube membership. That's right. You can be part of the Ted Coningsby Squadron. And for just $1.99 a month, we give you some YouTube perks as well to go with that. For just $1.99 a month, you get to use all those awesome emojis. Members, you know what to do. Get the emojis out. Come on, show everyone what they're missing. Show everyone all the YouTube perks that we've got. How cool is that? get to use your very own Ted Coningsby Squadron emojis. You'll also get a badge next to your name so that you are recognized as a member. It changes color with the length of service. There are a couple of blue badge members on there. Oh yeah, blue Ted Coningsby, blue skies badge members on here. And that means they've been with us for 12 months and more. If you see them with a red badge, that means they've been in service with us for six months and more. Check that out, thank you very much. Now here's where the fun starts. So we give you members only videos with that £1.99 a month. Yep, I forgot to say, it's only £1.99 a month. That's right, you get to unlock members only videos. These are exclusive videos just for our members. They could be deleted scenes, behind the scenes, uh, sneak previews, or videos that we release to you first before they go public. How cool is that? Now, you've heard of Netflix, forget it. You don't want Netflix, you want Tedflix, don't you Ted? We now have Tedflix. Now Tedflix is Ted's video collection uh, where Ted likes to star in music videos and uh, one click will get you to the Tedflix and we've still just got to, we have just recently transferred Ted's um, movies, Ted's uh, music videos to a different platform uh, just for his own protection. Thank you very much there, Ted. But it's exclusive to members only videos and it's password protected as well so that you get to uh, enjoy Ted's videos. Those music videos will all be eventually transferred. I think we've still got three or four to go to bring them over. And of course, any any new Ted Flix videos will go over there. You'll also, uh, if you enjoy all the banter and all the chat and the community, you don't have to wait for us to go live to chat to other Ted Coningsby Squadron members. We have our very own Discord. That's right, our very own members only Discord server. You can register for the Discord. As soon as you register, uh, you will be revealed and emailed the code to get to our... Uh... That sounds good, Ted, doesn't it? Exactly. So yeah, you get to uh, chat to other Ted Coningsby members in our Discord. You need to have a... You don't have to... Well, you, you will need eventually a Discord account to access that. Don't forget, ladies, shenzies, teddy bears, unless you've got one already. If not, register a Discord server and then uh, click the link in your members perks and you'll be able to enjoy. Uh, as you help fund the channel, we give you something back as well. We give you discount on all our merchandise, so thank you very much for that. That's right, up to 15% discount on all our official Ted Coningsby membership. Now, ladies, shents and teddy bears, if you are feeling posh, on the other hand, we do have the Posh Officers Club, which is just $4.99 a month. Again, that, that is a priority to help the channel even more, so big salute to all of our members. The other perk of the Air Hilaire is the fact that you get 25% discount currently on our official Ted Coningsby merchandise. So visit tedconingsby.co.uk and uh, check out the, uh, the merchandise. Stop. 
start up, which is good. I'm just going to put the comms on now because I haven't been on for a minute. Hang on, let me just sort this little bit of focus edge out. There we go. Gary Brown, thanks for gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Wenda, again, Wenda Cox, how you doing? Thank you for gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Oliver M, welcome to the Ted Coningsby squadron. Spooky McD, gifting a Ted Coningsby membership as well. Matt Brigden, member for four months. Oh, yeah. God's March is coming up. I don't think we've ever done a Guards March with a glow stick. Try this, mate. Quite a unique guards march coming up. Gary Brown gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. God's March to you. Wenda, thank you very much for gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. God's March for Wenda. This is like the uh, health and safety version of the RAF enzyme. Look. And uh, we've got Oliver M. Welcome to the Ted Coningsby squadron. God's March. Spooky McD gifted a Ted Coningsby uh, membership, Guards March. Matt Brigden, member for four months. Nice one. Four month service with the Posh Officers Club. Thank you very much there now. For the uh, night flying that's about to commence. Not too long to go now. It's uh, RF enzyme with the, uh, <laughs> with the glow in the dark with the glow stick there now. Thanks, Ted. Right, how are we all doing? Family friendly channel, nice to meet you as well at Lake Neath. Hope you had a good time. It was certainly uh, it was certainly uh, eventful and very action packed. Absolutely brilliant. And is it time for the uh, super game? So going. There we go. Trevor Noakes. Oi oi. How you doing, man? Lovely photo of you, Trevor. Thank you very much for that. Love the uh, the photo of you wearing our new F35 hoodie. It was awesome. Good evening, Mr. Grimsdale. Rachel Webb, how are you doing? Hi, Ted and Nikos, catching up with your live feed. Absolutely amazing. 
Loving the bears with their lightsaber. So funny. Loving the typhoons. Have a fab evening. Rachel, you have a great evening as well. Thank you. Aaron Oxford, how's it going? John Minter, how's it going? Margo, how are you doing as well? Hope you're well. Meth, nice one. Synchro Tones, you can't even get a coffee for one night in high. <laughs> Do you know what? Synchro Tones, absolutely. Dave Wolf and Wales, how are you doing? Hope you're all good. Hope you're all good. Andrew Porter, very much worth the money. Thank you very much, everyone. Ted Flix, emojis, merch discount member exclusive videos events that's right you also get uh exclusive uh, sorry met a priority tickets as well to our very first tcs event so we have uh, ted coningsby squadron events as well how cool is that i oh, know get priority tickets to that If you've not experienced night flying, it is a very, very different experience. It's uh, adrenaline starts pumping away, and it's just a, it's a whole different experience for you to enjoy. So I do recommend it. Uh, shame about the clouds. Have a look, that moon was looking nice and low, but uh, the, so are the clouds. However, it is clearing up to our left, so hopefully they uh, disappear. And. Uh, be all good so it's uh, just coming up to 20 past 6 p.m. at RAF Coningsby we are here in Lincolnshire ladies gentlemen teddy bears home of the Eurofighter Typhoon and of course we uh, haven't mentioned today that uh, RAF Coningsby is also home to the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight BBMF and they have a Lancaster in their inventory the uh, second airworthy Lanc Avro Lancaster bomber in the world that's right, and the RAF have one with the BBMF. They also have six Spitfires in their inventory, plus two Hurricanes and two training aircraft, the De Havilland Chipmunks. The Chipmunks don't really fly in the formations, although they are used for the training. Uh, they are a regular RAF unit, the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight. And of course, naturally, we have the Typhoon Display Team as well. Paul Crope, thank you very much for your Super Chat Guards March coming up for you. For the night flying ladies, gents and teddy bears. Thanks a lot, man. Paul Crib, thank you very much. Tones, it is awesome. Their uh, their pack. Did you get the annual as well? It's beautiful. Neil Frozen Oak, how you doing as well? <laughs> Hope you're all well. Watching on the wobbly jelly, so can't chat, but wanted to say hi. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that, much appreciated. Danny Walker, how's it going? Um, 
we've just had a gifted membership from a Neil Frozen Oak as well. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, guys. March coming up for you. Thanks a lot, Neil. It's going to be an evening of multi-screening with TCS and the football. Oh, OK, um, who's playing? Anyone in particular that you're following, uh, supporting? Anything like special tournament, perhaps? So for those that have just tuned in, we have nothing airborne, so you haven't missed anything apart from wave one at the beginning of the show, but uh, here we go. So, uh, just wait for taxi words. Web, thank you very much. Night flying will be commencing very shortly. And uh, yeah, like I said, nothing, uh, you haven't missed any of wave two. These are all fresh, fresh from the pan. <laughs> Yeah, and that's a good way to be, man. Nice one, John. John Minter, anyone in particular playing? Who's playing tonight? I'll have a little look.
scenes now. Look how dark it is now. Beautiful scenes here at RAF Coningsby. It is exciting, very exciting to be here. settings I love doing that it's really cool I know it's live but I used to do that at weddings sometimes I was that you know it's it's about confidence and knowing what does what and just going for it sometimes you know we'll try out some new things brace yourself for, well we should have, uh, by the sound of it, we should, uh, sounds like 29 squadron uh, definitely coming out. <laughs> oh, you know you're doing, oh, you're, you're good. Titan 39 is up, so I, um, they will be hitting a tanker, I guess, if they need it. It's a bit of flappage. <laughs> the, the fences was funny. Fences was, was really hilarious from, from uh, Nick Ward once. Uh, at Lake and he, and he uh, took a photo I think it was and he said I got nothing but fentage in that or something uh, cool oh, we're all good okay so grab your tea and coffee or whatever it is that you want to drink and enjoy and grab a few movie snacks and popcorn and enjoy Sounds lovely. Cut with mushroom and onion for spread bowl. Sounds awesome. Ladies and Teddy Bears, Ted Coningsby Channel, live here at RAF Coningsby. And uh, wave two is about to begin for night flying. And uh, we uh, to just to uh, just inform and reiterate that you haven't missed anything on wave two, so nothing is airborne currently. And uh, all the departures that you'll see are the ones to come back. So we're just waiting for the uh, clearance from uh, tower to from. Coningsby's ground to clear a taxi for the typhoons.
around about 2100 local finish, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. And I think we're all good. Can't be too long now for the first departures of the evening. We've been treated to, uh, as well, uh, forgot to mention, did you all enjoy the uh, low approaches with the reheats? Oh, yeah, well, the reheat. But, uh, yeah, they don't, it's not very common for them to use two, both engines for the reheat, reheats. They usually use the one, I suppose they don't need to, it's, it's quick enough. Josh Gorham, enjoy. Ooh, David. Chicken chasse, that sounds brilliant. Chucking, chucking chasse. We've got uh, Richard Stan fish and chips for me. <laughs> Waiting for the typhoons to be heard over my head at King's Lynn. And Captain A watching from an exercise bike in the gym. Enjoy Dan B, how's it going? fighter squadron coming out to play as well. shortly. They've been cleared to taxi. Holding point Alpha 1. Enjoy. A little bit different. A little bit dark as well for us.
Bye. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. Typhoons coming out, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Should be getting quite a few. Okay, play for takeoff. Let's get him. Here we go. Get ready. Right, let me just uh, sort myself out. Is it in dark? <laughs> right, get ready for this. Hopefully, one or two of them will splash out a bit of reheat. You'll see some lovely red glows though if you don't. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. It's done. 
It's good, it's a typhoon, here we go. Bring the noise. Oh, hello. Check this out. Keith Gregory, can you say, um, yeah, of course, uh, well done to Keith Gregory's granddaughter, Rosemary, for a brilliant parents' evening report at College for Multimedia Level 3. Nice. Well, congratulations, Rosemary. Well done. Very good results. Well done on that. Congratulations to you.
Double grip, you're welcome. Finish I've got a few more tricks up my sleeve to do yet. Daniel, four months. Membership, well run TCS Posh Officers Club. Seems like only yesterday. Loved every second, Ted. Thank you very much, there. Right, let's have a look. Typhoon, here we go.
Colin? Who said that? <laughs> said that. <laughs> me. <laughs> yes, me. We've got another yeah, one coming on. I didn't even earn your own. Well, no, two pounds. Yeah, well. I thought he'd be down here on his own, so I thought I'd be like you. I think it was Never take off, here we go. I've been round the front, and up to all there. I thought they would come this way and then round, but they didn't. Came out of the, the hoods and went round all the way. This afternoon. I that Ha, <laughs> ha, 
Cool. Uh, okay. Uh, how we doing, ladies? Shed to teddy bears. Hope we're good. Thanks a lot, Aaron. Daniel Walker, Ellie, Jay Approach, Margo, Stu, Martin, Daniel Walker, Mef. How's it all going? Hope you're all good. Christopher Carr, hope you're well. Alex Spinks is here with us as well. Evening all, evening to you, Argan. Darren Harwood, come on. Yeah, we could do with uh, a few reheats on these. That'll be good. How's it going? How's Edinburgh, Marco? How's it been? Hope you had a good day. Hope everyone's had a good day as well. And uh, if you've been working today, well, relax, enjoy. Welcome to the Ted Coningsby Show. We're live. RF Coningsby. Ted's home. Ted HQ. How's it going? And also, just to make things a little matters a little bit more interesting for the pilots, the ILS is not working, and it's uh, very good at night, as you can imagine. And uh, yeah, the ILS is unserviceable. It's US, as they say, unserviceable. Thanks a lot, Breaking Point Racing. Thank you very much for the super. Thank you so much. And B, no, I would love to. I need to get in contact with them. It'd be nice to have a little uh, like evening, like a little chat with the cadets. That would be great. A great idea from Swift Aircraft that gave me that idea. Because I know a lot of cadets do watch our channel. It'd be nice to, to have a like, you know, a little evening with them. Ted is a special guest at the cadets because he is a bit of a mascot for them. Of course, the RAF. on this.
Beautiful. Typhoons and out. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Send it, says the pilot. Nice, love that. Full sign, Rampage 4-2. Here we go. Got more typhoons just to our Suddenly they uh, hit the reheat. We need to change setting. Let's have a look. Come on. What you got for us, man? So this is a 12 squadron here.
about that then. That was rather oh, entertaining that was. Those that like reheat, there you go. Where are we going to get here? Shed steady round, that's got to be worth a like. Come on. Come on, reheats, come on. A few more. A lot more carrots. <laughs> more carrots are the come. <laughs> carrots make the seat better in the dark, they're not wrong. who enjoyed those uh, reheats off the uh, typhoons just then that was absolutely amazing absolutely wonderful lady shenza teddy bears Wasn't that 
just phenomenal. I hope you enjoyed that. Da -da 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 -da. Thanks a lot for that. Lovely kind words, Aaron Oxford. That was unbelievable. How can you not say that 199 is well worth it? Where else do you get live action like this? Thank you very much. And of course, we do exclusive footage for our members and lots of other perks with that 199. I do enjoy it, ladies and gents. Teddy Bears, Ted Coningsby, channeled live here at RAF. Ted HQ, that's right. RAF Coningsby. Um, so yeah, we're looking at about uh, nine o'clock our finish time for those uh, interested. So you know, so you've got an idea of our rough time. There is just one more typhoon to depart. It's worth a fiver just to see those afterburners. Ah, oh, yeah. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, let's just to uh, reiterate that reheats and afterburners, they are the same thing. They're just uh, called differently in different countries. That's all. Uh, in the Royal Air Force, it's reheat. That's the official term. In the US, it's afterburners. Sorry, reheat, singular, reheats, plural, afterburner, singular, re afterburners, plural. <laughs> Got to get the grammar right there now. Thanks a lot for your super chat. It's a bit dark. Uh, Roger, Anthony Lowe, thank you so much for that super chat. Thank you, much appreciate for that. Marcus Welding enjoying that. Oh yeah, bit of reheat edge. Bit of nightage. Paul Cripp, thank you very much for the super sticker as well. Thank you so much. Let me see what I can do with the as far as super chats are concerned in the dark. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll catch this uh, departure and I'll see if I can get Ted with this glow. Um, get, yeah, get Ted with the glow stick. That should sort that out. So that is what we're going to get. What with this one, what 13. I think that's 13 uh, Typhoons airborne currently with this one, I think. Let me just double, let me just count. Yeah, it'll be 13 in total with this one. So 12 airborne currently, and with this one going out, that'll be 13 in total for, for those that want to know. Secret returns to do your dinner. And for those concerned, this is just a regular training, by the way. For those that have never seen this before, of course, we've got a, we will come across new viewers as well that have uh, never seen this before. It's just regular training. This is what goes on Monday to Friday, regular training. And it's uh, night flying this week. So, for those concerned, don't panic. This is just regular training. It is the right way to do it. Ted Connors be channeled, setting the standards. And that is 
hit the like, do subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, bears. Help the channel get to 33,000 subscribers. I can't believe Monday we hit 32,000. Just like that. Beautiful. What a journey it's been. And it was nice to reminisce those times that we've had this year already and TED flights and your favourite moments. It's been a cracking year. It really has. And, you know, it's amazing that you've all watched this channel grow. You've seen it absolutely fly, literally. And you have seen TED fly as well. Fantastic. So this uh, aircraft uh, was supposed to go out with the other one that went out. There we go. So it's just probably going to play catch up. Oh, hello. It's quite hard in the night. Especially when you're wearing some, a reasonably puffy jacket and catch the uh, tripod. But hey, it's all good, as uh, Drew would say. You know what? If it was a clear sky, some of the, if they are going to do any circuits, it'd be great to get a moon shot. I would attempt to do some guards marches for you. Don't worry, I haven't given up yet. Thanks everyone for tuning in as well. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're snacking away nicely. Do you know what? I'm going to grab a bite after this one because I think for now this is the lot. With the no tam stating uh, that it's uh, the airfields. It, I mean, okay, they, they do put in a small print <laughs> quite blatantly. Actually, they don't do small print in the uh, for no tams. I'm just saying the uh, they've got. Oh, did I just? Oh no, it's gone. Right, okay. Uh, it's uh, the airfield officially closes at uh, nine o'clock local, but it does say aircraft may operate operate outside the time specified. So anyway, right, is this going to give us any really? Let me just change the settings in case we're gonna get blinded. Johnson Teddy Bears. Here we go. actually there <laughs> hang 
hang on, this might work. Looks really weird. <laughs> So, we had breaking point racing here on Ted. I know it's quite hard to do. Breaking point racing, Guards March. This is going to look so weird. Thank you very much for your super. We've also got uh, Paul Cribb, thank you for that as well. And then we've got Roger Anthony Lowe. It's worth a fiver just to see those afterburners. Thank you very much. Alex Biggs, thank you for the company tonight, Nikos. Luckily, Red Ted has behaved well enough. The pizza was worth the wait. Oh, nice one. Thanks, Alex. He's just over over there. Oi, oi. <laughs> so, uh, all is good. All right, let's get that off, Ted. I don't... It feels really weird with him on there. It feels like... Uh, sorry to bring this another... I don't know why. We always seem to bring up movies at night. And it just reminds me of Minority Report when they put that halo on them. Yeah, talking about movies, that looked really weird. <laughs> does it look really... Oh, it does! <laughs> you was right. It is Berlin and it was Terry Nunn and she's still singing at 60 odd year old now. What, Take My Ted Away? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> take yeah, Terry, my Terry, Ted Away. Terry Nunn is... The, female singer that sung it and she's still singing it about she's what, still she's going 61 or 62 yeah still singing right well she needs to come on to the show <laughs> yeah she's got to come i went home and i googled didn't i, I thought you're right it's terry nunn <laughs> and she, she's done a concert in 2023 really she's really yeah she's definitely singing still she's still going for it yeah and she's still singing it do, do, do. Yeah. So these are these sort of facts you get me into looking at Google. Yeah, it's the effect that we have, you know. <laughs> yeah. So 13 airborne. And uh, yeah. Do 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 do. So they'll be about an hour and a half, nine o'clock. Well, they'll be back just before, and that's it. Quarter to nine ish. Yep. Yeah, we were just coming to say bye. Oh, hello. Sorry. I hear voices, not like, you know, in, a, in that sort of way. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Naomi, isn't it? Yeah, it is, Yes. Yeah. Nice one. I was wondering where you'd gone. Well, we actually had a huge break in the pub. Did you? Well, we it quite well. You had and a then, cheeky break at the pub? We did. That pub, have you ever been? Yes, I've been. It yes, lovely. lovely. Did you like it? Yeah. We sat by the fire, That's which was cool. perfect after a few hours in the cold. Yeah. Um, but thank you so much. That's what right. a day. Yeah, it's good. Good, good. And and you enjoyed fun, it. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's good fun. Um, and we'll definitely be seeing you again. Yeah, My sure. Mom, nice one. My aerobatic fanatic has got a trip planned in January. Hey. Uh, hopefully you'll be around. Do they do much in Jan? Uh, Is it weird? Well, uh, the first week of Jan, probably not. First week. The US, probably yes, that's what right. I normally have my birthday at Lake Eden. Oh dear. Jan, yeah, because okay. they're not quite back yet. Okay, good. Um, here. Yeah. Um, but if you come the week after, like the second week of Jan, then most likely we'll be here. Okay. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it was pretty good January and February. Oh. Oh, okay, well, that's good to know. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, in February I'll be going your way because I used to spend my holidays in Devon. Oh, amazing! Yes. Whereabouts? Uh, Darwin. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go three times a year until Ted came along. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> now there's no time anymore. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Excuses. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Terrible, isn't it? When he says Dartmoor, he's referring to the prison. <laughs> no, no, I couldn't get in. They wouldn't let me in. What was it Dartmoor? I was, I was overqualified. <laughs> Nah. Oh yeah, no worries. Well, you have, you're not headed back to Torquay now. No, are you? no, no. We've we've been staying in Rutland. So okay, we're back nice. To Rutland. Yeah, yeah. We it's a little bit far from Lake and Heath. I haven't quite persuaded Ed to come on Friday. So. <laughs> yeah, 
How we doing, Lady Shen's teddy bears? Hope you're enjoying it. Just send me a message because obviously last time you nearly had a wasted yeah. trip if you didn't contact me. Wouldn't have been wasted. Well, you would have. Uh, well, you could have had a trip to Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've not got a clue. No way, Mordor. No, no. Just uh, give us a shout. Um, yeah, I might not be streaming between nine and eleven because yeah. it's looking emotional, and then after that, it's fine. Yeah. I'll be at work anyway. Early 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 on. On. Yeah, early on looks emotional, so you never know, you might get an Osprey tomorrow. Yeah. Um, no idea yet. Oh. Yes, I'm going to head off. <laughs> yeah, have fun everyone. That looks like a little... Never seen a traffic jam at Crashgate 2. Look at it. Look at this. I've got a little jacket in the car. I'm going to put it on and start waving my arms. Yeah, they might think you're ground crew. Yeah, man. Right. We've kind of made Crashgate 2 quite popular, I think. <laughs> nice one. How we doing, Lady Shen's Teddy Man? How we doing? I hope you're all good. We've nearly got a thousand likes. It's something like in the. To tip the chef, Yo Sushi, after the show. Thanks a lot, man. Mayor, thank you. so much that's uh, tuned in we have got long to go uh, Beth thank you very much for that well, I'll tell you, I'm going to do something different now check this out then check this for a guard march hang on See if this is gonna work. Right, this could be. Uh, there he is. Oh no! Do that again. Whoever did that. That was pretty good light. Whoa! Hey, someone said about the Northern Lights. Here you go. <laughs> Green bit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Not that then. That would be awesome though. Now, what if I was to... Look at this. <laughs> Sorry, uh, for those that have just felt a little bit sick after that, uh, I do apologise.
Paul Peter Faulkner. How you doing? Nice one. Welcome to the show. First time on here. Great show. Loving the night flying. It, it did look like one of those slinkies, didn't it? That was pretty cool. Eight hundred and ninety-two likes. Come on, let's get one k. One hundred and eight to go. Yeah, man, we can try. Hello, Nikos. It's me, Lacey. Me and my dad are currently on a mission to shop to get some chocolate. For a while, watching your stream sounds good. Do you know what? That sounds absolutely brilliant. I'm going to go and get myself a chocolate bar. Be right back. And a little quick swig of coffee, uh, tea. Just going to be right back. Oh. Let me take some of this off that way as well. Let me get... Yeah, leaming. But the thing is, if they're on days, you usually get. Mind you, they can still send one, or they usually send one or two out, don't they? Anyway, in the day. Yeah. Oh, that's such a shame. That's just 
just. Uh, Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear, that, that yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, let's listen on comms, see when they're coming back. Mm. Well, I've learned a lot from you when looking at bow times and things. No, like right. That. <laughs> seeing, seeing things that they're actually doing. Yeah, it does help. It, the more you know, the better, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't have known that. that ILS was there until I sort of read it and I thought, what's oh, an ILS? Oh, he did tell us. Yeah, they, they only seem to have the ILS for 25, they don't have one on 07. Yeah. Um, well, unless there is that, is that one down here. I, that's I the, that, the one on the left is the PAR, the one on the right is the TACAN. Oh, right. Like the mushroom things, the PAR. Yeah, I thought there was probably one on this side, the, then you're probably right. Probably yeah, so there's a there's the a TACAN and a PAR over there. Yeah, but I know they said that it got US next to it, which is unserviceable. Uh, unserviceable, yeah. So they're doing something with it, or it's out of commission, or oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> mm. Thanks a lot, Daniel Walker. Thank you. Forty k by November. Oh, I don't know about that, man. By the party. Oh, uh, that's, that's a lot. I don't know if we can do that. This, it, we can try. That's another 8,000, isn't it? Mmm. Mm. We're normally getting about 1,000 a week. Um, well, we'll see, unless Friday is an absolute legendary day again. <coughs> oh, thank you very much. So like I said, there's uh, 13 airborne and uh, they usually about an hour and a half, so just before nine o'clock, hopefully, depending on how many circuits they shall require. The Aurora Bear Relics. Love that. That's really cool. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everyone who's uh, had a bit of uh, TCS retail therapy. Thank you very much. Yeah, so uh, we're just gonna wait for the uh, wait for them to get back. What's this? Ooh, you have a package, do I now? Let's have a look. 864 likes. Just catching up with everyone. <laughs> Thirty-two point two k. That's a good result, and it's always good to hit a hundred at least every time we're on the show. We're just. Uh, just having a look at our performance, it's it's fantastic the way the channel has grown and climbed. And uh, just checking out, see how we're all doing. 297 still on, thank you very much for uh, keeping going, thank you. <laughs> I'm still watching dual screen, this stream on my dog and bone and the bombs away episode. This is unbelievable. Oh, that was good, those F15 dropping those paveways, amazing.
<laughs> All is good. Thanks a lot, Daniel, for your kind words. Nikos, the camera, and he streams whatever the weather for us. Top man, top Ted, 40k by November. Well, I wish we can. That'd be great. That'd be all good. But yeah, Belinda Morley, that's brilliant. The Aurora Berellis, that's lovely. Peter Falk, now you doing? Welcome to the uh, welcome to the channel. Lej approach, how you doing? Chris Blocks and Margot Baxter, how's it going? And just speaking of Margot Baxter, gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you very much, Margot. So Typhoon's just descending. Uh, we are starting to have... Uh, so yeah, within the next hour, we should have them all coming back. There's already one coming back as well, I believe, Warlord Flight. Some low approaches coming up as well. Thanks, Igan. Just uh, a big close up of that patch. That's awesome. That is so cool. Love that. Oh, yes. So we've got Tasman as well, 7-1. The, uh, the, the, the Falcon that they use to do practice QRAs is also doing a low approach with us. <laughs> yeah, we've got the Falcon doing a, a low approach. The, the blue one that they use. Oh yeah. What's it gonna do, just a low approach? Or is it yeah, it's been obviously been followed uh, by a 29, so there's obviously training for like QRAs and stuff. Pretty cool. So we know in how you doing. Very good evening to you. Hope you're good. Thanks a lot, Captain. I need to drop off in a minute, but just a massive thank you to uh, to you, Nikos, and Spannerflight for a great stream. Don't think I can make tomorrow or Friday, sadly, but we'll catch up next week. Thank you very much. See you then. Good day, Mick Geo. How you doing? Good day to you. It's uh, right now as I'm reading it. It's 1956 local.
How cool is that? So, Warlord. Cobra Fall 2 also checking in with Tower. Checking in with ATC to come back as well. Mm, low approach with the... Uh, so call sign Tasman 71 is a Dassault Falcon 200 and it's uh, the blue one that they use for uh, QRA practices. Oh, it's doing a low approach here at night. It's a shame because we won't be able to see anything, but oh well, you never know. It's very cloudy, can't even see it much as it is, but you got that orangey sort of slight orangey glow from uh, so I'm just looking to my left for the lights from the aircraft coming in. Uh, so we do have uh, one Typhoon and a Dassault Falcon. Webster, how's it going? Oi, oi. Happy birthday, Captain A, for tomorrow, Christine Barnes. Nice one, Captain A's birthday tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, Belinda, so they use that for QRA practices. So my guess is that the pilot was doing a, a bit, of, bit of QRA practice. There's some around here now. Yeah, I can just about see it. Is that it down there? Yeah. Yeah. There's some that's flashing there. Yeah, that's the one. So the first in is uh actually where where's the uh oh I don't know why but I can't seem to see any of the lights of the runway caravan. Is that it over oh no it's okay, I'll see it now. Alright, I got a bit lost. Got a bit lost in the dark. Yeah, I see it now. Sort of if, where you are, if you look at, like if you look at the fence, eleven o'clock. Yeah, it's that over there. See them moving around now. I was a bit worried. Though. I was like, where has it gone? <laughs> right, here we go. Right, let's get this show on the road. We've got. Uh, so first up is well, it will be obviously you're not going to see anything. But let's have a little listen to the. Uh, That ladies and gentlemen, the teddy bears, that, that light, there's two isn't there, and this one's a falcon, hang on, I think that's another one, I know there's a low planet there but regards whether that is or not I don't know, that is a Dassault falcon that they use,
just up there, was it? Two cleared low approach. Wind just five knots. Typhoon's airborne. See, I haven't missed any landings yet, so enjoy. One, two, two, touch and go. There'll be, um, seem to do a lot of circuits at night as well. It's going to be interesting because there's no uh, ILS, the ILS is unserviceable. is an excellent landing aid for pilots uh, it's used very very frequently and the uh, ILS very useful in poor weather or at night as well very good oh Heard the pilot say so he's going to use the ILS. Unless I heard that wrong. Well, if you look on land times, it says it. Okay. It says till about the 27th of October, which is what, the end of this week, isn't it? Hmm. Unless he said something about the ILS, you know, just unserviceable. Probably. Yeah. And it's definitely on. Oh, uh, interesting. The Air Force bomb. It's not another site, it's not a third party site, it's, it's an RAF bomb. Okay. Come on, have a look. Just have a look. It's just below it, I think it says the times. No, yeah, yeah, that's right. Let's have a quick look. It's 1330, well, it's funny because they haven't used the ILS at all, all day. No. Yeah.
Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's out. It's out until the 27th of October, isn't it? That's right. Which is end of this week. Yeah, he might, it, maybe he just said ILS unserviceable. Um, maybe that's what I heard. Yeah. Could have been that. Yeah, Susan, talk down. Anyway, how are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Teddy bears. So, yeah, no, it's definitely out the ILS. Hope we're all good, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. So, like I said, Ted Connie's been channeled live here, and uh, we still got 13 typhoons airborne. And we're just uh, waiting for them all to return, but they will be doing a few circuits, of course, naturally. Why not? Keeping us all entertained at night. and go as well from this one now we're doing ladies gents steady bears hope you are thanks to everyone that's tuned in today and of course massive shout out to everyone that's stayed on from the very beginning today seeing us in the day seeing us by night So here we go, Warlord. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Touch and go.
<laughs> that is a challenge trying to, you know, track that at night. Definitely, as you can imagine. Right, what else we got? Here we go. Two more coming in here now. Yeah, you got more coming now. One then, one further back. Still 13 airborne. None come back yet. Okay, 12 left.
stuff. Have you hit the like? Come on. Try and get us to 1k. We're almost there actually. Probably on 900 and what? 910? Typhoons.
three back, ten to go. Oh, hello. Touch and go. Ted Cornishby Channel, Ted HQ for night flying. Ladies and steady bears, so we have uh, still got 10 typhoons airborne. One in the circuit right now, one just here on spot. It wanted a touch and go, changed intentions. I could have sworn I just heard it, it can't land. I'm not sure. Let's find out.
four back, nine to go. Yep. There's three of them here. And this one's been clear to land as well. Seven to go. that is how we doing now we're feeling ladies and to teddy bears you're on for the late night show Ooh, hello can be by night postcard there
this lady sheds the teddy bears who's tuned in we've got julie saunders daniel walker andrew porter rebecca johnny b Eddie Nettle, crone how's it going claire bears here as well john minter margo andy williams Argan, all here chris bloxham belinda morley fred vernals oi oi 49 likes to go for 1k, that's very achievable. So it looks like we've got Rampage flight just to our left flight of two. So five still airborne apparently. Is that forty figures five? Yep, five still airborne. Here comes two right now. Yep, we're going to possible land. Yep, two just coming here. Lots of people enjoying this. Thank you very much. Isla Gibson. David Owen, fantastic live today. Thank you very much. Hope you're enjoying it. It's a late night the show with Ted, isn't it? Yes. Not get uh, it's a straight on the top here. Yeah, it's, it's on initial as well. Right. Oh, that was it quick. Goodness me, look at this. Look at this. go on to like midnight or sometimes one in the morning but uh, the no towns today are uh, finishing around about nine o'clock local so not a very late one as far as nights are concerned but this time of year it doesn't really matter how early it is because it gets dark very early so here we go clear low approach here we go Where is it?
bottom to my map, so there should be three left. So we still have, uh, so this is two here and there's one trailing in the distance. So that's our third one there, yep. Our maths was pretty good, I think. It did a long circuit, it did. Yep. Put on, put on passing spills, but...
still more circuits yet, lady shouts and teddy bears. So we still, we believe we've got three typhoons still airborne. Pilot's still calling out low approaches. So all good. Little approach. Yes. So, low approach for this typhoon.
circuit. One just on the on the finals now. the like lady shins teddy bears if you've just tuned in and forgot to do so I know, that's gunfighter. There's still one going round here doing a lot okay. of Okay, so complete, this is what happens with plane spotting. You just could never get it right with numbers. There's another two typhoons still out there. So we have four typhoons still airborne now. They're growing. So 
This is gunfighter. It's five altogether. Wow. Steady bears instead of the numbers going down, they're going up. Very interesting. Right, low approach. Must have got that way out. Must have been more than 13 that had departed, then perhaps. Yeah, must be. Oh well. More foons for the tunes. Typhoons than what we've counted. So we've got this is rampage flight, flight of two, and we've got gunfighter flight of two. Approach and another low approach. And chaos still out there. I've lost count, man. Is that five now still out?
also four air bombs. <laughs> Unbelievable, I've really lost count tonight, haven't I? Officially just two left. Yep. Two to go. Uh, I think this has been clear to land. Clear to land. Our last Thai food, ladies, gents, and teddy bears of the night.
is our show over. That's a wrap, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. I hope you've all enjoyed that. Well, what an evening. Oh. Well, thanks everyone that's oh, hello. Uh, thanks everyone has tuned in. That was uh, a great show today, tonight, <laughs> even. So lovely. Just gonna catch up and round it off with everyone. See who's on here just to say good night. If my phone just flips round the other way, so I can see who's chatting. Don't you just hate that when your phone just gets stuck on landscape and you're just trying to like flick it around? There we go. There we go. Thanks very much. So, oh, thanks. Peter Faulkner, thank you very much. Well, don't forget, we've got 800 plus videos uh, and streams on our channel. Thank you very much, Ed but Butcher. Thanks for streaming in the night. No worries. Uh, so all is good. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much indeed. Right. It's uh, a very good, uh, very good show. We're going to wrap it up and finish it off right now. And a very special thank you, and we'll see you in the morning. Thanks a lot everyone that's tuned in. Thank you. It's our squadron leader Ted Coningsby. Just wishing everyone a very good night. Thanks everyone that's tuned in. Thanks Bannerfly as well for uh, a long shift as well that's, that have stayed with us. Thank you everyone that's tuned in and uh, that have liked, subscribed and uh, shared, gifted memberships, given us super chats and given us super stickers. Honestly, thank you so much and I hope you all enjoyed that show. For myself and squadron leader Ted Coningsby, we wish you a very good night. And of course, if you're watching it from a, from overseas and it's a, I hope you have a very good morning, a good afternoon. You know what? No matter what you're doing tonight or today or in the morning, you make sure you have a good time. See you soon. Wish you well. Good night, everyone.